Hello and welcome to yet another episode of... Okay, well, that's a very boring introduction. introduction. We should not do that because our guest today is kind of special. Uh, we'll yeah. just cut to the chase. Our guest today is really special for me and Santosh. Yes. Because uh, we have been reviewing movies for uh, five years now, four mm. and a half, five years now. And the only director <laughs> who responds to our jokes, and even if we bash her movie, he's like, Hirde, that's a good joke. I really <laughs> liked it. Like, you know, the only director... You know, who has the guts and... Uh, who acknowledges I, yeah. nicely. Yeah, and I'm trying to say who has the balls to like take a joke. <laughs> but I'm trying to not use that phrase also. But uh, yeah, uh, please uh, welcome Nandini Reddy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Man, under the same sense of chiller humor. I'm very happy of life. So, so I actually, I'm not sure if you're doing it. Before we were reviewing... Mm. Uh, how i met you first time in person is hrade uh, nanu are nandineddi is going to narrate uh, na story to us you want to come for narration anna kada cheppina me chepparu aa mana high tech oka cafe lo there we sat and i remember it was a hill station story but yeah. the, the which went downhill i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We assume now that that movie is only... Adhe story. Yeah, Andi Manchi is a good movie. But that low, he was trying to be a stand-up comedian. Stand-up comedian. Yeah. I In think that was the version. I think that was a lot of... యర్స్ నుంచి చాలా షేప్స్ మారి ఇట్లా అయింది నుంచి వస్తుంది and i had come to know that uh, you are from jnu <laughs> right and i am always intimidated by jnu see always three al- three letters can intimidate yeah <laughs> in many ways yes and jnu kgf so many things <laughs> totally and i uh, didn't get through jnu actually i got through hcu ah. so i always have this jealousy slash insecurity when it comes to jnu people jnu so, lo basic gun i got into school of international studies which was yeah. crazy hard to crack those days, okay naaku ippudu kuda naaku edo fluke lo vachesindi anna feeling undi naaku ippudu kuda endukante i just wrote the exam elli chuste na classmates andarni chusi jnu migitha jnu nu chuste vaalla asal vere ga unnaru like one hut ke like these are some from planet of apes ninchu vachina vaalla laago mem anta సో ఇది నాకు ఇప్పటికి కూడా నా థియరీ ఏంటంటే అదేదో మారిపోయాయి ఒక నంబర్ కప్ల అయిపోయి వచ్చేసినా అని మొత్తానికి వెంట జేన్యూ సో బట్ వాజ్ అ గుడ్ థింగ్ లైక్ ఇట్స్ అ గ్రేట్ థింగ్ చేంజ్ మై లైఫ్ చేంజ్ ఇట్స్ ఇట్స్ అన్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఐ విల్ ఆల్వేస్ బీ థ్యాంక్ఫుల్ ఫర్ గ్రూ అప్ ఓపెన్ మై మైండ్ టు ద వరల్డ్ కరెక్ట్ సో బిఫోర్ అండ్ మీ క్లాస్ మేట్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ హు ఆర్ దెన్ బ్యాచ్ మేట్స్ దే ఆర్ దే ఆర్ ఇన్ టచ్ విత్ యూ నౌ ఇప్పుడు సమ్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ ఆర్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ ఆర్ ప్రొఫెసర్ at very reputable colleges and all andar chala pavithramaina panlu chestunnaru nenu meer em chestunna ani telu cinema lu chestunna hey what the fuck man like it's a dokey to say fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. completely okay. what yeah. the fuck <laughs> what are you doing are you doing song and dance shit <laughs> yes exactly and you pina i have some of your batchmates also become like you know anti nationals and uh, uh, prostitutes that is the word that is used generally for like media people ante mem aa generation aipoyanam kada ippudu ippudu kotta vaal ani pattukuntunnaru correct correct yeah correct. no so so nobody has gone that far but they are doing whatever their anti national quote and quote behavior teaching okay so okay. akada vaalla whoever is pro left very much will be doing that there yeah but yeah no also came across um, your father is a chartered accountant so aap pressure mm-hmm. lekunde are ca manaku asal match ki manaku asal sambandham gundi oh ippudu kuda producer degara paisa theesukonante adi kuda raadu so then who, who looks after your accounts dad <laughs> no my dad's no more no no who look after my chartered accountant look after <laughs> oh so then, like um, i know that most interviews generally start with like tell us about your childhood but we don't want to do that <laughs> right no but i want to ask one one thing uh, yeah, yeah, to nandini ready mm. uh, and you are a proper hyderabadi you ikkane putti ikkane verignu and maratpalli ga proper uh, west maratpalli sanjan uh, church ke galli mein uh. ippudu poi uru avathalu untaru endo mottham hyderabad odlesham mottham uru avathalu unnam ippudu naaku ikkada anta a building lo building lo chusina naaku dimag kharab ayipothundi and uh, at least where i am staying reminds me of old maratpalli you can just uh-huh. take a cycle and go and play that's that that's my most beautiful memory of my childhood 
that i could take a freaking bike get on to the road bunch of us kids madhyana manta we could go into those gullies mm. go to those little general stores buy things to eat go to the garden play you can't do that now there are so many like apartments it's become congested it's become messy so i i like houses and trees and things like that i can't afford one in the city uh-huh. i'll have to live in an apartment in the city oh. so i i said what the hell why what am i doing here ఓకే ఇట్స్ గోన్ టు బి అనదర్ ఫార్టీ ఫైవ్ మినిట్ కమ్యూట్ బాంబే లాగిన అయితే డిస్కషన్ కూడా లేదు తిరుగుతున్నారు ఈడ సిటీలో కార్ లాగని తిరుగుకుంటే ఐ డ్రైవ్ ఆన్ దోర్ కూల్ సో ఐ జస్ట్ గివ్ యూ లిటిల్ బిట్ ఆఫ్ కాంటాక్ట్ అబౌట్ ద పర్మిట్ రూ మ్యామ్ సో ఇట్స్ అ పాడ్కాస్ట్ బట్ Uh, we are trying not to do what people like open heart with rk and tnr i mean the late tnr and uh, prema the journalist have done already so we are not trying to tap into emotions or sorrow or trauma right because i don't think that's our strength hmm. i like, don't have that much trauma also in my life <laughs> and also like our fear is sometimes like what if we burst out laughing because sometimes yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is funny, right? Since we all share the most stupid, ridiculous sense of humor, we are going to be laughing more than yeah, talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was so excited to have you on hmm. because, like, I know... Until I'm going to tell you a joke, I'm going to tell you a joke. Okay, ready. No, I feel like, you know, see, one of the reasons why we, at least I don't hang out in, like, uh, Tollywood parties anymore is that sense of humor is a very tricky thing in parties and I've got into so much trouble because I just say whatever comes to my mind and people can't take it. Mm. So we felt like you are one person who actually can take a joke. <laughs> like, I don't know if, I don't know if I can show this on the, this thing, but if I show you our WhatsApp chat, <laughs> <laughs> across like three years, yeah. like there was one movie of hers, I just completely bashed, okay? Yeah. Which was, I think the Netflix movie, I think yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Pitta Gadal. Pitta Gadal, yes, yeah. I bashed. <laughs> and then i get a message nandini ready one message i'm like oh shit <laughs> <laughs> and i'm used to directors sometimes once in a while saying this but then i see the message and it's like hriday good joke that was <laughs> <laughs> so i was like wow that was you know that was the first for me and thank you so much you know i mean i uh, my question is this so now you have a sense of humor clearly is it difficult for you to adjust with the other people who have the stiff upper lip and you know generally cannot take a joke uh, well i'm a lot like you in sense that uh, if i open my mouth i i can just come out with all kinds of uh, silly funny stuff mm. so uh, i'm not much of a party hanger mm. about person okay okay i hang around with people who take my jokes or mm. who can you know if i'm pulling their leg they're fine they're fine okay. which is net result i'm not so much hanging around in the industry person i have okay. my school and college buddies okay and those are the people i hang out with so on that tension but good correct correct so you don't take life too seriously mm. Yeah, that's good, man. That's the most evolved. Chara ne ka zindagi ka ek rupay ka tension kai kule na. Uttna mathematics to samaj me aata. No, but coming back to the podcast that you were... Yeah. So, um, I'll tell you the theme of the uh, podcast. So, basically, we are... I know it sounds expensive as a statement, but this is our statement. We are trying to create a gentle, humorous way to make people's lives better. Mm-hmm. Okay, now you take it with as much, <laughs> as much salt as you want. Why are you here with the other batsmen? You can catch them with the other side. You can catch them with the other side. Yeah, I mean, we planned it like that. Yeah, that's right. So, what do you think of the strategy? So, basically, the core aspects, right? Mm-hmm. Which we feel that most people are not focusing on. One is uh, money management. Uh-huh. As a daughter of a CA, maybe you will have insights. Two percent. Two percent to ask about money management. I'm not going to answer that. No, no, no. I'm not going to answer that. No, you can be an example for how much you have to. Yes, absolutely. Always. Always proud to be an example of how not to be. I'm that person. Hey, but five films, I'm not going to pay for double pitch now. So you will know. I'm not going to pay for double pitch now. I'm not going to pay for it. <laughs> so money management mm. time management mm. which you seem to be quite good at because you have a movie every 3 years <laughs> yes <laughs> uh, uh. and then uh, mm. and then uh, like physical well being and mental health physical well being mental health aithe 10 on 10 kill unna nen so maybe you can give us insights yes, on that yes yes i will mm. give you so uh, 
um, we are not trying to make the podcast emotional or funny. Like that is not our thing. Hmm. But knowing that you are here, obviously it is going to be. So I can of... be emotional and funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can be whatever you want. We'll take those slow motion cuts. You know, like those Rajmali. Do you want me to be emotionally funny or funnily emotional? Your wish. Your wish. Whatever, whatever okay. you want. Done, done, done. But but that is the focus. Like we are trying. We are hoping that you know at the end of the podcast, if there are any youngsters, they take away at least something. from the conversation so that is our theme that is just the premise that i wanted to set and let's just plunge right into in um why did you make the remake of <laughs> bad baja <laughs> bala <laughs> so hey. मेरे किस्मत का बैंड बज रहा था तभी <laughs> फ्री में <laughs> फ्री में वो बारात में ज्वाइन नहीं होना था बट बट बाय पर दिस को एडिशन बट अब लाइक समेनो चूसना दट यू ऐक्चुअली टोल उनको स्टोरी टू सिद्धार्थ एंड समा बट मल्ली सैट के सर की बैंड ऐक्चुअली एमेंटे सिद्धार्थ तो शाम को नरेट स्टोरी कल्याण वैभोग में दट वॉज सपोज टू बी मै नैक्स्ट फिल्म थ्री इयर्स फिर क्या हुआ सिमा वीम चूसी कदा इलाे बहुत जनरल नोट मन लाख अवसरमा मुफ्को अरे अच्छा ठीक है फिर कुछ खिचड़ी हो रहा था बात कर रहे आ रहे बात कर रहे आ रहे बोल के बोले फिर यू स्टार्ट राइटिंग नो यू स्टार्ट राइटिंग एंड यूर डूइंग देन दे सेट दू आर वेर ऑलमोस्ट क्लोजिंग द स्टफ ओके फाइन बाय द टाइम वी आर प्लानिंग थिंग्स end of the day they said uh, oh no but what you've written is very different from that so you don't need to buy the rights and by that time i had already gone and shot some stuff so mm. my foolishness not to check mm. things okay. before oh, and no. things like that and also i didn't realize i can pull the plug then oh mm. you could have yourself i could have, you could have. i could you were have. younger maybe oh. yeah 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 your see Second dude it, 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 it took, it took six years to get your first film correct you have yeah. somehow managed to come out of and because ala modle in itself was one crazy journey yeah. two years everybody was telling me my film was crap yeah. this is not even a film yeah. my editor also was telling me this is not a film oh movie tiyak mundu tiyak mundu na tishnanga tishnanga ala modle tishnanga rashtra joshi idi worst idi cinema ne kaadu oh release gaakku ah so it in that two years everybody was coming taking to possible what the this this is not even a film this is crap this is what i was hearing constantly oh shit aithe ye muntadi mana confidence see cinema problem endante manam em deesna kuda is it good or bad anedi it's not just as who has to like it tomorrow somebody has to oh, no. see it and say, tell you okay. you will be okay for till two people say it's crap and you say no re bap you are not getting it it's mm. not this nalgu vadu cheppe sariki nee ke doubt vastadi that is how it works oh no so by that time my self esteem was like down somewhere down there and mm. i didn't even think i said now if they are saying it is a cinema ne ga antunnaru mar naake em ide vastadi malla dim ante itne isthan nenu so boss where are we going wrong ante naaku cinema language raada or i am not i mean or are, are people not getting what i am trying to say something mm. is getting lost in translation was in my head correct and uh, third schedule of ala modlaindi tarvata the film was shelved shelve ayipoyinaka 4 months this was on a dead break in during which i happened to i mean i saw the film the first person who came and watched the film and said because nitya came after schedule 2 hmm. she came back and i said dude everybody saying the movie scrap i'm very worried you and told I, her i told her okay and then i said can you sit and watch it ante oka chinna bean bag esina am gusindi she was watching the film that's the first visual i saw of anybody laughing hmm. while watching ala modlaindi ఆ పడి పడి దొల్తుంది అయితే నేను అన్న డిడ్ యు లైక్ ఇట్ అంటే హౌ నో దిస్ ఇస్ వాట్ యు టోల్డ్ మీ నో ఇట్స్ సో ఫనీ ఇట్స్ సో దిస్ ఇట్స్ సో దట్ సో సో దట్స్ ద ఫస్ట్ నార్మల్ రియాక్షన్ ఐ గాట్ సో కొంచెం ఎక్కడో కొంచెం కాన్ఫిడెన్స్ వచ్చింది సెడ్ ఐ యు ష్యూర్ ఇట్స్ ఫైన్ ఫిర్ బి లైక్ ఇన్ బార్ కే లోగ ఆ రే దేక్ రే దే ఆర్ లైక్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ థింగ్ ఇస్ గోయింగ్ ఆన్ సో ఐ యామ్ నాట్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ హౌ డు ఐ ఫిక్స్ దిస్ and uh, nani was also just up coming so ah, we correct, were yeah. all in that state of yeah. confusion as to what this would we ask this one put it put nenu nani inko kar tappe migitha andaru are what crap is this anutunnaru directors who producers who editor andaru uh, in fact the first time my grandfather's brother had passed and i got a call from vivek garu my who was my uh, executive producer then and he said 
uh, producer is very upset. The editor has said, this movie is crap. Can you please come? I think, you know, Banjai's Chetney's Kelly, Jubilee, it took about 15 minutes. Asala, 15 minutes, it led realization, no, naake del. And it's such a sinking feeling. Yeah. It took me six years to get there, to start yeah. the film. And the way they were talking was like, this is almost getting shelled. Can yeah. you, I, I, can't, I can't even explain that feeling to anybody. Yeah. It's like fear grips you. Yeah. They said, no, the editor said, the movie is not working. It's utter crap. The editor has the power to say all... Yeah, he's the most senior yeah. editor, right? And they are the first, yeah. see, the editor is the first person first, who's seeing yeah. the film. Correct. He's the first yeah. person who will give the, yeah. the producer confidence mm. that, you know, this is working or this is not working or whatever it is. So that really shook everybody. Mm. So then I didn't, uh, see, I didn't realize at that time that Ala Madhulain is in a different meter than mm -hmm. other films. Other so films, so. so to adjust to that meter and to understand it took some time. Yeah. So mm. I didn't understand what was going on. So finally they decided after third schedule, they're going to put a stop to the shoot. They decided to shelve the film basically. Oh. So, Inka. So, Allah Katamandi. Allah Katamandi. Allah Katamandi. Katamandi time ki nen guchoni nenu matam cinema jushna apart ki whatever we had. Jushi fun gundi, cute gane gundi, kani inko kate do gawali. It needs one more, one little tadaka from somewhere. Em jala, em jala was thinking. Meanwhile, I happened to just go to one of the books. So, I keep picking up foreign films. I put DVDs in Kazustun Naman. I picked up in July and a German film. So I was just watching it, and in that, there is one guy who looks like one, like a gunda, okay? The film opens with him. In a car's trunk, he puts one dead body. Then spray the shit, no, muta vete shit, no, what a question. We demos ampi na trun, just build up motam. He's going on the way, one guy asks him for a lift. He says, dude, what are you doing in the middle of this fucking desert? He said, oh man, it's a long story, and te, okay, we have a long ride, and te, what a kada jepthu. Oh, that's the opening. Yeah, what a kada jepthu, man, that's the love story. The end of this story was, this guy is going to some place to bury his dead uncle. That was it. Correct. So, I called Nani. I said, bro, this looks interesting. And te, okay, kuchina hookies that's in my, kuchha vetta niki, what's going to happen, and we can drive it towards like a crazy moon climax because I wanted a hmm. the climax I had was feeling very placid where Nani goes and proposes to hmm. Nitya wherever at some other wedding and all. Hmm. I was feeling somewhere I've we've seen that done that. Mad climax Jalante, you look at fun kosadi, and he Nani and me sat and jammed over hmm. this, and then we created that whole thing, and I was super excited. Hmm. I remember telling my producer, sir, this, 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 this character is clustered, it's what third one kidnapped yesterday. Abba, Thammudu. Thammudu and all came later. Okay, so it's Anta Jesko and Mottan Jepesh Nanka, I got like, this was what I got, five seconds of silence. Mottam it like down a pin. Then after that, somehow, Vivek Garu convinced Dhamu, sir, see, we are getting one, film costed some 2.25 then. So one crore you are getting in satellite, only one crore is at risk. You put me in cinema, I pay a quarter of a lot. So why ruin someone's career? Let's give it a chance. They had one more film called Happy Happy Ga. And every time they would go to the edit room of Happy Happy Ga, they would come out super happy. Happy Happy Ga. Yeah, Happy Happy Ga white go chaval and they would say like, you know, itla diyaale cinema lo ida da. And I am like, Wondering what did they do that I didn't, and I hadn't seen any of that. So they thought they will sell this off along with that film. So by then, it will be done. That was the reason Alamodla Hindi got completed. FYI. So after that, then Nani said, "Look, you don't have any support here because the entire direction team was from the producer's side. Okay. So there's no one to back me up here. And he brought Sinwas Gar and he Papu Gar Koda Etrunar. Okay. He brought him and he said, "Let him these just be there to support you." So I in a I know Cheru, somehow we, we said we'll complete the film. So next schedule, all the scenes I had to write and give short division. Then producer would sign on it. Uh -huh. He said nothing is going to be done unless I sign on it. Like it was literally, sign. literally sign on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it became like that. And then they would come to the shoot and there's a monitor. Producer is sitting with me mm -hmm. next to the monitor and watching everything. So it became like, okay, you don't know jack shit. Uh -huh. So we're going to... Kind of carefully watch what we're doing. Yeah. So now I had to complete the film. So that was what is happening. And lunch break, lo, I happened to tell Srinivas Garu this track that we had written. Correct. Where yeah. I said, 
let this guy be like a sutradhar for the film mm. whatever dumb as questions we want to ask are what renani how many chicks are you going to go mm. around with whatever jokes we want to maro that character will maro mm. and ask so i told him the whole thing he said ain't and id endu better atle this is a super hit cinema mm. anadu sir vallu inledu ani then he went spoke to the producers mm. convince them when they came then uh, i had a dream of ashish vidyarthi <laughs> it is freaky as Really? Yeah, yeah I mm-hmm. dreamt of Ashish Vidyarthi in that character. Wow. So I said I want you Ashish. Was the only guy who dreamt of Ashish? <laughs> <laughs> and, and for no goddamn reason. It's yeah. not like I was one huge Ashish Vidyarthi. In the bunch of the world. Maybe I was you know brainstorming so much about no, the character. Solid actor. I mean good. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe uh, Gurumba Shankar chusin tarata time. Ye no. I endu kochindo telvadu na Ashish Vidyarthi takman lesh poddun lesh na gurtu kochi nenu it was like a almost like a dream like I saw it in my head. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. Elli cheppina chepte they called him they said we can't afford him. Okay. Oh. Then they were suggesting some other names which I was not okay with. Then finally Ashish sir called back and he said no I want to do that. but only certain number of days i'll give you mm-hmm. so kuchun chestunamu mm-hmm. inga last two days shooting undi last two days shooting unte 2 am i woke up full red outdoor shoot i have to shoot ashish vidyarthi nani fighting mm-hmm. that whole car oh, sequence oh, and all that mm-hmm. so pouring cats and dogs and two days later ashish vidyarthi is going off for a month schedule okay. abroad mm-hmm. i am like shitting bricks what to do what to do what to do then i woke up my mom i was in panic my mom called some astrologer i need to phone this 815 kala varsha bhai i said how the hell is he no is he a weather man how does he <laughs> but you are hoping against hope you yeah, know yeah, yeah. and i said ha i 815 kala stop i don't know how the hell it happened no oh. i was just checking if you were wearing any rings at all nahi kuch bhi nahi hai re bhai i don't know if he got anything that right before <laughs> or he should turn weather man yeah. but but yeah. 8:15 varaku i shot in under a petrol bunk the sequence is there where all these friends are there and they're talking and all uh-huh. it's under a petrol bunk that's what we shot uske baad gaye shot entire ashish's sequence then next day we're shooting the car sequence so vacuum based bartam this was one of the last few films which uh, which actually used film rather than digital oh aithe aithe vacuum based pitnam bite ki we finished uh, entire ashish vidyarthi car conversation in one mm. bunch we finished it off mm. Mm. నాని చేయాలి సో వాక్యూమ్ బేస్ తిప్పి పెడుతున్నారు ఇటు ఇట్ టేక్స్ అబౌట్ ఫార్టీ మినిట్స్ టు ఫిక్స్ ద వాక్యూమ్ బేస్ అగైన్ దిస్ సైడ్ మై ప్రొడక్షన్ మేనేజర్ కమ్స్ అండ్ ఇస్ అమ్మ చిన్న ప్రాబ్లం త్రీ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఒకటే క్యాన్ ఉంది ఈ సైడ్ ఒకటే క్యాన్ ఇస్ జస్ట్ ఫోర్ హండ్రెడ్ ఫీట్ ఇట్లా జుప్మని వెళ్ళిపోతుంది సో రఫ్లీ ఇట్ ఇట్ విట్స్ ఇట్స్ ఫోర్ మినిట్స్ సో నౌ ఇట్ విల్ గో ఆఫ్ బికాస్ యూ ఆర్ హ్యూటింగ్ ద ఫుల్ ఫిల్మ్స్ కాన్వర్జేషన్ ఓకే అండ్ ఇన్ బిట్వీన్ నాని ఈస్ ఆల్సో టాకింగ్ అండ్ దెన్ ఈస్ టాకింగ్ బికాస్ యూ కాన్ కీప్ doing that to ek can me to mushkil tha you need at least one more can so i said send somebody and get it he said we are too far we are shooting near shamshabad then nani said chal we'll do one thing i'll just jump dialogue to dialogue to dialogue to dialogue because you anyway got ashish sirs nu majjal lo gurchone naaku queue ichese naaku next day so i am lying down in that car and i'm oh. prompting nani okay jump oh. on to the next one and praying as hell that everything comes off in that time <laughs> Oh. Nani is talking, 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 talking. Last dialogue, I, I can hear the film running out. Drip, it went off. <laughs> Now, I don't know what to do. 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 So, I don't know what we got, what we didn't get. Then, finally, <laughs> that's developed. Hmm. Comes to the edit room. And we were all like, oh. got it. Nani is like, what to do, what to do, what to do. అక్కడ మీరు మానిటర్ కూడా అప్పుడు చెక్ చే చెక్ చేయడం అనుకుంటారా మానిటర్ లో ఏంది అక్కడ ఫిల్మ్ లో ఎంత వచ్చిందో తెలియదు కదా రన్ అవుట్ అయిపోయింది అంటే దీనికి మానిటర్ లేదు కదా కార్ లో వెళ్ళిపోతున్నాం కదా when you are going on the car there is no cable so only if you are the camera is fixed you can put a monitor on so mali ikkada hyderabad vache varaku aa tension undey vachu hyderabad vache adi develop ayye varaku tension e otherwise i think you would have just slept in the car and left hyderabad for a while pata nahi kya kar lete the ala velipothunde ala velipothunde but no, yeah but, but there is a happy hmm. ending to the story because every time on tv that the movie comes hmm. nobody switches it off nobody changes hmm. the channel hmm. it has just become like you know like in america they say hallmark movie Mm. like it has become one of those hallmark movies that was my wish for the film you know mm. that's why i always uh, try to remind myself that the intent with which you make a story is important i i never somehow when i thought of the film what do i want this film to do 
no number came to my mind i didn't say mm-hmm. it should make 100 crores or 50 Correct. crores i said this is a film that everybody should go back to and watch from wherever it is whenever still, it is uh, and make them smile if you're having a bad day you should just say chalo i'll just put ala modla in and watch it or yeah. if it is playing on your friend's laptop you sit down and you watch mm-hmm. it so it should yeah. just be one of those things that is your favorite mm. you know little guilty pleasure that you go yeah. back to each time no na kuda aa time lo that last set abba tamudu it cracked up like itla seat ne itla gottukuntunde abba tamudu ani male so it repeats no it repeats yeah. like some three four times anta narration tho ko vai pelina put sudden ga he start abba tamudu yeah. <laughs> with that, the whole climax was a result of lot of us jamming on the set anil ravipudi was one of the writers oh, which really? will be yeah wow. so yeah nice. so for, just for the climax he came mm. so uh, he came and because he anil was brought in little earlier but anil's humor and mind meters were very different okay mm-hmm. but kind of only in the climax we kind of we mm-hmm. we we arrived at certain agreements mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because otherwise it it's very different our yeah. sense of humor so akkada there was tagbot ramesh there was me there was nani and there was anil so we were all jamming and yeah. doing and all things all four of you are funny actually yeah, yeah, yeah. in your own ways so nani and me have a very similar uh, kind of meter sense of humor anil's was slightly different little massier Mm-hmm. which actually helped yeah, and yeah. ramesh was being uh, ramesh so yeah. we would keep saying ah oh, that's funny that's let's let's put that let's uh-huh. do this let's do this yeah. and uh, at one point a climax lo so many sequences unde kada i was getting confused which which i'm shooting after what in <laughs> lunch break i remember i took a piece of paper i sat and i wrote everything in the order so that i should know who is happening evade ekkad nunchi poyindu evade ekkad ke lekutunadu evadu unnadu evad ledu because you could easily get lost so i still remember sitting and writing it down uh-huh. and uh, I, uh, another thing was we wanted to shoot that and obviously you all have one thing where the pendi and all it was a set they took us okay. and some rashika sir's film was going on andar gaye to kuch orange or purple tha set hmm. i boli boss nahi hota kaisa je peshi ma production manager jepte aur anadu sudu madam meer cheshal cinema asale kashta padi idiko varaku vachinam ippudu manam em anna ante ing adi kuda kaadu ఐ సెట్ ఒక పంజే వెంకట్ కనీసం ఆ పర్పుల్ గిన ఆఫ్ వైట్ పెయింట్ అన్న చెప్పి నువ్వు ఎట్లానే చెప్పి అంటే సరే సార్ నేను పెయింట్ చేపిచ్చేస్తాను ఆ గోడలన్నీ ఇట్లా లోడస్ బోడస్ ఉంటాయి సో వెన్ ఎనీబడి ఇస్ బ్యాంగింగ్ సంథింగ్ అంటే మెల్ల కొట్టండి ఆ మొత్తం మూగిపోతుంది తెలిసిపోతుంది సెట్ <laughs> so the kind of stuff that was happening but a brilliant set of actors i had yeah and surprisingly see now everybody who worked on that film is known for making slightly different stuff Hmm. like whether it is you or hmm. nani or nitya menon yeah. yeah. all of you are known for like it's it's kind of like i always believed that you know a first movie is just magic yeah it like, is like it is madness and magic hmm. and spirituality and yeah. god and god knows what all is happening so the first things. movie is just you know magic so and that's why if you ask directors about their first movie they just get so Oh yeah, like, I emotional. can talk. I can talk four hours about Alamo. I'm saying that is a, that you, that's a movie to be made about that film. And yeah. like, if you remember, just turn to what happened before the uh, shoot and what the movie turned out to be. It's yeah. love. అరే అది ఉంటది కదా కుక్క అది తోకాడిస్తా తోకాడిస్తా అని పట్టుకుంటాడు కదా పప్పీతో మాట్లాడే సీన్ అది రీషూట్ చేయమన్నారు. I'm like and I went okay because there was severe pressure on me to reshoot it and all that and and then uh, reshoot janati etla jeevala na inka like sayantram ayindi rohin gar came for the shoot and uh, i didn't know what to do i was confused what am i going to reshoot i'm not able to think so i called rohin gar i said and the movie was on the laptop i said rohin gar they want me to reshoot this scene can you just take a look at it so choose are baavadi kada what's wrong with the scene anna can you please go and tell them can you please tell them i just need somebody somebody support yeah. so then she called the you know creative producer and she said kadandi baund kada ante aina ha avunandi baund ante avunu enduku reshoot chestunnaru chakka ga undi workout ayindi chaala baaguntundi rep screen meeda ante she said it so they stopped wow see i just wish i had little more guts problem is 6 years of you thinking that you're almost making a film you're almost making a film it's happening now in 3 months i'm telling people like 3 months mm. i'm going to shoot and 6 years happen it chips away at your confidence somewhere mm. true it chips away at your confidence it saps you out that now you're scared to put your foot down mm. like at one point they wanted me to write another scene where nitya gets drunk again mm-hmm. she said hut i am not going to do it 
కాదురాబాయ్ ఇట్లా అంటున్నారు అంటే డి యూ థింక్ దట్స్ రైట్ అంటే నో బట్ నో ఐ వాంట్ టు ఫినిష్ దిస్ ఫిల్మ్ హీ సెట్ అండ్ షీఈస్ ట్వంటీ వన్ షీఈస్ అ కిడ్ హూ జస్ట్ కేమ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ కాలేజ్ నో ఫిల్మ్స్ నో స్టాండింగ్ హీ సెట్ గో టెల్ దెన్ నిత్యమైన వండు అది ఎంత అసలు ఎంత సాలిడ్ యాటిట్యూడ్ తో చెప్పింది అంటే నీకు నీకు దమ్ లేదా చెప్పనికి నువ్వు పోయి చెప్పు నిత్యమైన చేయను అని ఏం చేస్తారు చిట్ ఆఫ్ అ గర్ల్ వాస్ టెలింగ్ మీ దిస్ ఐ సెట్ బ్లడీ హెల్ మ్యాన్ నౌ ఐ నీడ్ టు స్టాండ్ ఫర్ మై సెల్ఫ్ ఐ నెంట్ టోల్ ద ప్రొడ్యూసర్ ఐ వండు i said i am not going to shoot it if you want you go shoot i said this is literally what i said oh that was the first stand i took and that was because of nitya menon i am actually mm. a very tepid kind of a person i know i appear like a and all that but mm. i am actually okay. very like a very apologetic <laughs> kind of person <laughs> very <laughs> you know, always self doubting myself kind of a person uh-huh. so all, i just happen to be really tall and big so it great <laughs> works out uh-huh. but um so i have to overcome a lot of self procrastination as it is mm. so now after five films i am able to sit and say a few things mm. but at that time it was like if anybody if i said something and then you didn't find it funny or whatever i'm like okay okay was it not okay mm. i'll just go like that mm-hmm. so from that space to hear that from nitya that was a big jolt for me like at least back your own bloody conviction mm. you know you have to back your conviction if you don't back your conviction why will anybody else and i didn't know that as a first time director i can i have an opinion which i can back mm. you always think like but he's putting money you know are he's giving you chanda or what yeah ha <laughs> uh, so and that correct. the most first directors work for free correct i mean they're not they're paid i think now they're paid a yes, stipend yes mm. so two first time directors my my only thing i have to say that, say to them is listen to what everybody saying be open to listen because mm. opinions questions and give as many narrations as you can because when you're narrating you get a sense of where it's going wrong mm-hmm. you will absolutely know where you're going wrong you'll know this is working the rest of it you'll want to say it fast mm-hmm. because you know you're not yeah. confident about it. so that's a Correct. meter you can gauge for yourself so adu ka self correction aipothad akkad but when you are goddamn sure about it back yourself man back yourself fight for it mm-hmm. sit down and say Uh, so finally like one when one final edit was happening and all i used to hide my edit because everybody else was doing one one version of it mm. and i went and told my producer i said sir if the editor doesn't believe it why is the editor editing this film mm. that means you're not getting my film so it is let me edit my film so then i started then he started doing one more version so then i told this other editor bhai mera version to chupa ke rakh Oh. don't let somebody do kichdi on this you replicate this let them play with that mm-hmm. so at least i know my cut mm-hmm. if there is something good they will use but let them not kichdi fire mm-hmm. this mm-hmm. so i saved my cut i hid it and then finally when the cut was coming out i said if this is not going out the way this is you can take my name out i went to that stage Mm. you finally did put your foot down yeah. oh. i did put my foot down that is really courtesy nitya menon nice and courtesy nani the film got out like you know yeah. these were the guys and nani also kicked off the movie nunchi yeah. he went to yeah. unko I mean, most people think like that mm. is his that is yeah, yeah, yeah. ante ashta chama to konjam take off ayindi uh-huh. but yeah this really yeah. 125 yeah. days it yeah. did and all no but there is something else i mean i know like you're a funny person and like you like jokes and all but uh, you are the person that all like most of my filmmaker friends actually look up to because i'll tell you why i mean of course they look up to the rajamolis and all of that but then not everybody can make that kind of a movie right mm-hmm. and one thing that i hear a lot about your movies is that your movies always have nice people in them <laughs> <laughs> you know it is so lovely i mean like why should every movie have like a villain in uh, you know, narki ochana it is not it's not needed yeah, you know? yeah. So and your movies always have like nice people. Yeah. They are all nice. Maybe they are a little greedy. Mm. Maybe they are a little like you know horny. <laughs> <laughs> you know there is some basic human flaw but I feel like you are the only person who makes those kind of movies, right? Mm. Which brings me to my next question is like are you irritated with uh being bracketed as a woman filmmaker? Does that like Uh, how does that positioning kind of make see, you feel yeah the see i am a woman i'm a, i'm a filmmaker and there are certain things women do in a certain way and certain things men do i don't have a problem with that yeah. i have a problem with the way the media will will label it mm. they, i don't know they like i find lady it, film uh, lady, lady director film. lady director next film announced 
ఇప్పుడు నేను గొర్రెనా మేకప్ ఇలానా నేను ఏమన్నా ఆవునా దూడనా అంటే తెచ్చి గోట్ గాట్ ఇట్స్ ఫిల్మ్ అరే వెన్ ఐ వాస్ డూయింగ్ మై ఫస్ట్ ఇంటర్వ్యూస్ ఫర్ అలా మొదలైంది ఫిల్మ్ యాడ్ వర్క్ అప్పుడు ఫోన్ చేసాను టీవీ నైన్ ఆర్ సంథింగ్ ఇట్ వాస్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ ఫోన్ చేసి ఒక ఆఫ్టర్ ఆల్ ఒక లేడీ అయి ఉండే మీరు ఇంత పెద్ద ఇంత మంచి సినిమా తీసారు మీరు ఎలా ఆఫ్టర్ ఆల్ ఒక లేడీ అయి ఉండే అంటే ఐ ఈస్ ఫీలింగ్ లైక్ ఇట్స్ అ కాంప్లిమెంట్ మీరు కూడా ఇప్పుడు మీరు ఒక గొర్రె గొర్రెలకు సినిమాలు తీయడం రాదు అయినా మీరు ఒక సినిమా తీసారు ఒక గొర్రెలాగా మీరు ఎలా ఫీల్ అవుతారు uh but no, all her interviews in our research i found that yeah. and you know like of course they mean it with a good intent but there is it it's, is a little condescending it is bizarre it's like okay so you are not actually supposed to be here uh, yeah but you are here Tell how does it feel how does it feel, does it feel? Yeah. Uh. you're a strange creature from another yeah. planet what does it feel to be amongst men uh. are they listening to you <laughs> uh. when you say action do they all actually listen kunta uh. <laughs> dei no but to your credit you're very gracious with your answers i know <laughs> sense that you know the nonsensity that i know would actually you know fuck that kind of their answer but she is like no i like her no, dignity with which inko inko sare the one of these women vanita tv or something man they called me some women's day thing okay then they said uh, oka 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 mahila ga meeru cinema industry lo undatam meeku ela anipistundi i said ee question etla answer cheyal naaku ela telu ante oka mahila ga ee industry lo undatam ante నేను పుట్టింది మహిళగా అండి స్కూల్ కూడా అలాగే వెళ్ళాను మా కాలేజ్ కూడా అలాగే వెళ్ళాను మా ఇంట్లో కూడా అలాగే ఉంటారు అంటే అది ఉన్నది ఒకటే ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ నాకు నాకు వేరే లైఫ్ టైం లేదు మళ్ళీ నేను మొగాడుగా పుట్టి మళ్ళీ ఆడదానిగా అంటే దాని దాని గురించి ఏదైనా డిఫరెన్స్ చెప్పొచ్చు ఇది ఎట్లా ఆన్సర్ చేయాలి నాకు అర్థమైతే లేదు లిటరలీ వాడ్ ఐ సెట్ బికాస్ వాట్ వాట్ ఈస్ దట్ డూ దే ఎవర్ ఆస్క్ అ మెయిల్ ఫిల్మ్ మేకర్ దట్ ఒక మొగాడి వై ఉండి మీరు సినిమా ఇండస్ట్రీలో మీరు డాక్టర్ అవ్వలేదు ఇంజనీర్ అవ్వలేదు కానీ మీరు డైరెక్టర్ అయ్యారు ఎలా ఫీల్ అవుతున్నారు లేదా ఒక ఒక అబ్బాయి అయి ఉండి మీరు కొరియోగ్రాఫర్ గా ఉన్నారు మీకు ఎలా అనిపిస్తుంది మీరు డాన్సులు చేసేటప్పుడు ఇది అమ్మాయి స్టెప్ ఇంటర్వ్యూస్ బికాస్ most like 50% of mm. the interview is happening through a gendered lens hmm. right so i'm like what the f- i mean there's nothing to gain from that interview so i just stopped watching i'm like you know what i will take the interview in the way like we want to do it rather than yeah. you know but then um, i would prefer questions if you are asking me as a woman uh well, you know they how would you shoot an item song if you had to hmm. ask me no yeah. as a woman yeah, how, if you had to expose a woman oh, on in the in the movies lo sorry to interrupt but ni movies lo okka duet kuda ledu kada are na na cinema la ipadiki duet set lo itla dance ese song ledu set and la enni paisa laithe telsa set e yalante enni paisa ledu ippudu nen diska poi this kondallo ni diska poi habits lo na cha chapel road na na dance cheyali ippudu varaku chesa cinema la Hey, for uh, Anima Shaknamle, my producer was gracious enough to send me to Europe. We did a little dancing. We did a cut to... I like that movie, by the way. Yeah, no, thank I, you. I, I you were one of the... Yeah, yeah. No, no, I really liked... You know, like, first of all, one thing I like about your movies is that they are really soft movies. Like, you know, um, I like that realism that comes in the movies. Mm. And also, I liked how you worked with uh, Santosh Shobhan. I feel like people have not yet tapped into... like you know every actor has a certain sort of a yeah. vibe i felt mm. like for the first time he seemed comfortable mm. because he it seemed closer to who he is as yeah. a person yeah. mm. right so i i really like that movie uh, but here is my question which actually is a take off from your question how would you shoot an item song i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i would love to shoot a man in an item song so <laughs> farah khan did it no with shahrukh khan uh-huh. yeah. yeah yeah but you know i think there would be an aesthetic i enjoy item songs also mm-hmm. when uh-huh. uwantawa came i totally mm-hmm. had fun with it watching it and all that mm-hmm. so that's what the context has to be set i mm-hmm. have a problem with cut two songs okay mm-hmm. i have a problem with it in the sense that so far whatever stories i've written they don't organically mm-hmm. get correct. into the space the and the songs have been part of the narrative correct, if you correct. see every song oh, in no. my film is taking the story forward that's how i have organically written if i have to write a cut to song i'll have to think of except jabardast ah jabardast was adokate adokate okate okay a spin off adu ante andla kelet cinema khatam chese itla baita padu jabardast la kuda imagination songs levu kada ఒకటే ఉంది అదే సమంత ఆరెంజ్ సీర వేసుకొని సిద్ధార్థ్ షర్ట్ వేసుకొని అదొకటి ఉంది సమ్ బెల్లం కొండ సురేష్ ఇన్ఫ్లుయెన్స్ ఉంది 
<laughs> so because everybody is telling me you have to make the film commercial it has mm. to be a more commercial film yeah. so mm. then i thought okay and apde ala modle indi chi amma sal baaled gali cinema an cheppangane ippudu aadeshindi ippudu deeni kante commercial ante itla cheyalante villandaru cheptunte edo adu ayipindi yeah but coming back to your question if i have to shoot an item song i think there would be a definitely an aesthetic i don't like making actors uncomfortable so uh it would work around the comfort of the actor mm. doing the song also mm-hmm. how comfortable are you with your body how confident are you with it what part of it are you feeling like showing off and mm. in what way mm. i don't like giving actors dance moves and all which make them uncomfortable mm. I, i will put my foot down choreographers don't do that to me but even like during ams um nitya manani we were doing the chali vena mani you know there at the beach and all that there was a choreographer and he was asking her to jump in the water there in the water for a bit okay. and get up and there's all these things mm. and we were laughing making fun of those <laughs> hair flipping shots and high speed and us cracking up because these are all things uh. that I made fun of in movies and it's happening in my movie. <laughs> so Nitya was like, "Dude, do you really want me to do that to the hair?" I said, "Are chal kar de re, wo bol raha hai, leke aaye usko Malaysia ko kar." So we're doing all that. He said, "Jump and land in Nani's lap or okay. arms or something." Mm-hmm. I'm addressing that that's fine. And it's awkward. So she said, "What the hell? I'm not going to do that." And I'm saying a choreographer blew up. They had one massive fight. He said, "I'm not going to shoot anymore." He went off. so there was a complete impasse happening there mm. then i told her i said came to an arrangement all your shots i will shoot oh let him only shoot nani so okay. if you notice from there on uh-huh. the shots are usually separate oh aaj achu stomal ah so and all nitya's close ups everything i would take the every day two hours take the camera man and shoot oh. so itlanti jarigine so yeah for me aesthetic is important intent is important why are you wh- what is the purpose of that item song at that time yeah. no we need one fun number here something is happening something is happening which is why i have a problem with villains also na ko writer chaala saalu sorry itan villain an cheptu ya okay enduku villain ayyadu an adutha so so they'll be like what do you mean enduku villain ayyadu we need we need a villain villain no, ha what vaadu manaku oka hurdle kavalu vaadu oka problem create cheyal so vaadu villain so no but వాడు ఈ స్టేజ్ ఖరాబ్ అవ్వడానికి ఇది చేయడానికి వాడు ఎక్కడో ఏదో ఉండి ఉంటది కదా వాళ్ళ లైఫ్ లో ఐ వాంట్ అండర్స్టాండ్ వాట్ ద ఫక్ ఈస్ నాట్ బార్న్ విత్ హిస్ డైపర్స్ విలన్ ఇస్ నాట్ ఇస్ నాట్ లైక్ యు నో బార్న్ అండ్ ఆల్ బేబీస్ ఆర్ క్రైయింగ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ లైక్ బేబీ ఈ సార్ తోడే అవుతాయి so i like give me a reason what induku how is he to his wife how is he to his kid is he nice to them why did he turn nasty what was the urgency the, the, i asked too many questions so itlandi anni kijidi lai tuntai na toti by the way my next film has some villains uh-huh. so yes oh siddhu toti siddhu toti oh so anyway so um like for me i need to understand because then i don't get the meter of that person then it becomes a caricature for me mm. and i don't know see there are people who can take this larger or larger than life stuff and go crazy with it yeah. mm. like yeah, yeah. i am fascinated how puri jagannath writes his scripts and does it mm. they'll be the story is very small oh no i'm correct and there will be this unbelievable kind of attitude of the hero and things like that you won't even ask those questions who is this villain those things mm. don't come he's keeping you in this zone yeah. that is one more way of writing that's a different talent mm. so yeah. i have the most ultimate respect for the mass directors who managed to do this yeah. it's something but i had to work within what is my yeah. zone and what is my yeah. understanding of it correct so so if, if i do when i do really bigger commercial cinema also i will need to keep it within an aesthetic that i can work mm-hmm. into so which even whether it's item songs also it has to be in that zone mm-hmm. so if if i feel this is what is needed there has to be a reason for that item song mm-hmm. and then that actor is comfortable playing it this way i will play it that way so for me i have no problem with erotica i have mm-hmm. no problem with erotica you but it will have to serve a purpose yeah. it will have to serve mm-hmm. a purpose and there will have to be an aesthetic in yeah. it mm-hmm. i will not do vulgar i don't like vulgar i don't like seeing vulgar mm-hmm. and i don't f- f- like you know recently some film that i saw and heroines breasts are mm. rubbing against the hero like, i Tiger. have a problem i have a problem with i have a problem with things like that like i personally have a problem no no certain guys don't have a problem so you should go yeah. as per yeah. i don't say aisa to banane nahi chahiye picture kyun bhai porn films bante hain bana do jo bhi chahiye bana lo but do it as per your aesthetic that's all 
So uh, my uh, one question before we take a small break, we'll get you a refill of hot water. I think it must have gone cold. Mm. But I'm very curious. So uh, the two things I gathered from whatever you said so far, one is that uh, don't mess with Nitya Menon. <laughs> <laughs> She's yeah, don't. really somebody who puts her feet down <laughs> don't. all the time. Yeah. But the second thing I realized is that you are somebody who uses humor quite a bit in your life. Now, both of us also grew up in the same school. Like, we literally know each other from 1992. So, for us, using humor was a different thing. Like, for me, I was insecure. So, humor was a shield for me. Mm. Right? I don't know how it is for Santosh. I can't mansplain for another <laughs> man. But, but uh, uh, what was, like, humor for you? Like, uh, were you the funny person in class? Were you the silent person? How did this thing come out in you? The, Melancholy masked with humor is what Shreda is going for. No, I mean, you don't have to answer if it is. No, no, no. It's not trauma, it's not boss. It's not trauma, it's not trauma. Yeah, um, I don't know. I, yeah, I guess maybe the need to be. But I was a light kid only, I don't know. I don't know, some naturally hidden no, reason. Naturally, ah, you know. I, had, I had a good childhood only, I had good friends only. Uh, but uh, I don't know, I think uh, I was probably like my dad, now I'm thinking of conversations that my dad had with me later on. Mm. He said that uh, I started speaking very fast, like by two or something, I was oh. speaking a lot. Hmm. Okay, like proper sentences and things and all that. And uh, people used to react when I spoke. Like, uh, you know, they would, I was, I was studying phonetics in school and mm. they would, uh, you know, they, U -M -B -R -E -L -L -A. Mm. so there's your umbrella, la 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 la. So something funny like that I would uh, say, okay. and they would laugh. Okay. So I liked that reaction, reaction. Uh, reaction. Yeah. So yeah. you wanted to be a writer maybe. Mass, mm. <laughs> <laughs> the science pain. No, I didn't know I wanted to be a director. So that time, I think when I spoke, the impact it had on people, Correct. I think probably was what, uh, you know, got me to speak a certain way. And, mm. and then I had the gift of the gab always. I, I was a good conversationalist. I should do elocutions. I should do drama in school. It mm. came easily. People got engaged when I, sp when I spoke. And uh, I think I liked the attention that I got. Yeah. It, it's mm. probably... Yeah. yeah. Just it translated into movies. No. Translated into movies... I once I decided I'm not going doing writing civils, my mother's value for me came not touching. And then I was an IPS officer. I was an IPS officer. Everything came down like the sense crashed. She's like, dude, you have just one postgraduate degree from SIS. What the hell are you going to do with it? And then, I said, I said, I said, I said, my mother called me, she said, get out, get out from the house. Oh. Go find a job and come. I said, get out. I said, sorry, sorry, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I Bank of America loans I sold for two days. I said, here, 3,000 I made in two days. I said, now what? <laughs> then I thought, they gave me a job. I said, 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 came off. Then I thought I'll get into advertising because I should write fairly well. So mm -hmm. I thought I'll write copy. Then the guy at Mudra said, no, you have to write an exam and all that. In that oh, whole shit. Right Mudra? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. So all that was happening. And then uh, somebody said, there's this film called Little Soldiers. Little Soldiers. Ah. Uh, so, so that's how went into this world of cinema. And I was always fascinated by the moving visual. Like I would mm. go with uh, servants, neighbor, whoever is going for any movie, I would mm. just go with them because mm -hmm. I liked seeing it. But mm -hmm. I never thought we'll get into films. So mm -hmm. and then after the first schedule, the only thing that stuck to me was that this was I was understanding things. Mm -hmm. I was understanding things very organically, quickly, asking good questions. So that environment just kind of enjoyed sucked us, enjoyed, sucked me in. I didn't know there were no women. Mm -hmm. I was not even thinking because oh. I was a kid who grew up playing cricket with ten boys in my colony. So. Mm -hmm. I was not uncomfortable around men. So mm -hmm. seeing so many men on the set never like threw me off or like Correct. I didn't say where are the women. Yeah. That didn't happen. That didn't mm -hmm. even happen to me. I didn't realize there were no women till I almost finished Little Soldiers. 
<laughs> because i was like why is everybody thinking i'm a hairdresser or a choreographer <laughs> why is it so weird like then slowly it is oh there are no women here <laughs> i am one strange creature <laughs> so is that something you would advise to like aspiring women filmmakers that you have to get comfortable with the fact that because we have been on film sets and there is literally no woman man like bhaiya అప్పటికి ఇప్పటికి చాలా మారిపోయింది చాలా మారిపోయింది నౌ యూ హ్యావ్ విమెన్ ఈపీస్ ఆన్ ద సైడ్ దెర్ ఆర్ సో మెనీ మోర్ విమెన్ సో సమ్ టైమ్ నో లాట్ ఆఫ్ విమెన్ ఈపీస్ ఆర్ దేర్ నో విమెన్ ప్రొడ్యూసర్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ విమెన్ ఆర్ట్ డైరెక్టర్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ కాస్ట్యూమ్ కాస్ట్యూమ్ సో సో దేర్ ఆర్ లాట్ మోర్ విమెన్ టుడే ఆన్ ద సైడ్ నౌ ఇట్స్ నాట్ ఈవెన్ అ డిస్కషన్ లేడీస్ కూడా లేడీస్ ఆ ఇప్పుడు ఇప్పుడు అడప తడప ఆర్టికల్ లో మళ్ళీ మొన్న పూజ అని కూడా లేడీ డైరెక్టర్ టైప్ లో ఏదో అన్నారు గాని దే హావ్ టు స్టాప్ ద మినిట్ దేర్ ఆర్ ఫోర్ లేడీ డైరెక్టర్స్ నౌ యు కాంట్ సే లేడీ డైరెక్టర్ దెన్ సే హూ ఓ డౌన్ కరెక్ట్ సో థింగ్స్ హావ్ చేంజ్డ్ అ లాట్ బట్ అట్ దట్ టైం దేర్ వాస్ నోబడి అండ్ ఎవరీబడి థింగ్స్ ఓ ఇట్ వాస్ వెరీ బ్రేవ్ ఆఫ్ యు దట్ టైం టు ఇట్స్ బ్రవాడో ఇన్ హైండ్ సైట్ అప్పుడు నాకు ఏమైనా చూడు చెప్తున్నా ఇండస్ట్రీలో ఒక్క అమ్మాయి కూడా లేదు ఒక్క డైరెక్టర్ కూడా అమ్మాయి లేదు అని చెప్తే నాకు ఐ వుడ్ హవ్ షార్ట్ బ్రిక్స్ అని ఐ టూ డౌట్ టోల్డ్ మై బ్రదర్ కమ్ ఐ విల్ హెల్ప్ యూ విత్ రాయలసీమ రుచి ఐ వుడ్ ఐ వుడ్ హవ్ ఐ వుడ్ హవ్ హ్యాడ్ ద గచ్ గో అండ్ సో ఇట్ వాజ్ హైండ్ సైట్ బ్రవాడో ఇన్ హైండ్ సైట్ ఇట్ వాజ్ తెలియకుండా చేసిన బ్రేవరీ అది సో యా బట్ ఐ థింక్ నౌ థింగ్స్ హ్యావ్ చేంజ్డ్ um that front it, it's changing and they ask me why aren't there more successful women directors mm. i say boss to percentage to dekh le yeah matlab yeah, yeah. how many men versus how many successful how yeah. many women to how much give Correct. it a little time yeah um you know i i've seen days where women first started flying commercial flights mm. and i remember people getting down are lady pilot hai సో పీపుల్ ఆర్ గెటింగ్ స్ట్రెస్ విచ్ యాక్చువల్ ల్యాండ్ ద ఫ్లై ఇది అప్పటి నుంచి ఇప్పుడు ఎవడ ఇప్పుడు ఎవడ డిస్కషన్ కూడా లేదు కదా సెట్ దిస్ విల్ ఆల్సో చేంజ్ ఇన్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ ఐ రిమెంబర్ లైక్ ఐ వాస్ అ బిగ్ ఫ్యాన్ ఆఫ్ లైక్ డిటెక్టివ్ లైక్ షాలోక్ హోమ్స్ all of that and then there was a show called lady detective lady detective yeah yeah he tv lo unde ammo yama effective samu idu idu kuda undi movies lo everything is dominated by male serials lo everything is dominated by female okay. because ma and because of the audience oh, okay. yeah. oh, audience is majority women no yeah. so they took one center stage there yeah. which was great that is no one acknowledged yeah. it akada yeah. manchi market adi yeah yeah so so actually a lot of women directors from there they thought will migrate but cinema is a different ball game first of yeah. all to convince producer put two crores in a film agane nu na dogatanam chestunna anatre chustaru so adu okati unde and they don't think women directors have a commercial sense hmm. tv serials are okay kani commercial mogol navale because majority of your film going audience is male mm-hmm. 60% yeah. is male oh, yeah. Yeah. so how are the men going to get your jokes hmm. how are the men going to feel like this worked hmm. are you going to be able to do a build up shot to a hero what is going to happen are you going to be able to command a unit of 150 people all these things but men will write women roles to hai na bhai re he maar do no itla vaal cheppina jokes vaal a dictionary vaal rasindru bhaiya nu em cheptunu a dictionary vaal rasindru so joke ante em anedi mogode rasindru so ipudu joke ante ipudu andar nokku mem kuda nokkuntam ladies kuda are mogol andar navashan manam kuda nokkundam yes uh first of all the internet is weird like i read a fact somewhere that 70% of the internet is porn first of all <laughs> and i was like how much porn <laughs> can you watch like 70% of the internet and the rest of it i feel is like mostly about making fun of people or you know just some sort of roasting roasting but we wanted to create a little happy space on the internet where you know that where people take back something you know positive people realize riday also doesn't make fun of people all the time <laughs> yeah no i mean i felt that i mean with our reviews we also felt that you know anyway we are kind of roasting people over there so mm. soft roast them uh, uh. <laughs> sorta <laughs> jeda mikra so uh, we are trying to so most of the people who try to be, become filmmakers especially filmmakers and generally also they are, they are filled with doubts right and uh, I'll just let Santosh finish his question and then I'll come to my question. No, Sorry uh, for interrupting you. It's, in it's in that line only. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, no, so I heard from one of a good old friend that uh, uh, to write more uh, women roles, women should write. Because we will write it from our perspective. 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 
what the period cramps pain looks like adi okko mane cheppagalthadu no see i i think that's, that's bullshit it's, it's equally like saying that women can never do right no i'm saying no 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 i'm coming to that only em antunna ante some of the best films if we look at uh, something like arth or what shekhar kamala sir has done and all mm-hmm. some of the best and i i feel nobody writes women's roles like shekhar sir does mm-hmm. the complexities and i'm i'm so jealous when i see his female characters mm-hmm. like you know sometimes you're looking inside out mm-hmm. so for somebody else to view you it's a beautiful way mm-hmm. i just feel it will happen if there is a male filmmaker who's observant about the women in his life mm-hmm. there is the masculine and feminine in everybody correct depends mm. which way you your leanings are your your sensibilities are so mm. i don't think it is so gender specific yes maybe certain insights women can bring but th- those mm. happen with even conversations with mm. women in your life correct are you mm. listening are you aware are you interested in those mm. spaces and conversations mm. so i just feel it comes down to the sensibility of a filmmaker like if correct. you say if you want farah khan to write a really sensitive film about a woman i don't mm-hmm. think it's her cup of tea i yeah. don't think she wants mm-hmm. to do that yeah mm-hmm. Far- farah likes she's like you know when you talk to farah also you see her interviews she's mm-hmm. fun she yeah. wants to entertain yeah. so she will make those kind of films yeah. mm-hmm. so don't put that pressure on her that okay now you are a woman no, right? right i'm saying in general what kind of asal ad lekkala raadu lekunte arth lanti cinema raadu kada mahesh bhat nunchi and the beautiful women characters rise and mm. he you, you hear him talk so much about the women in his life yeah. mm. because they are important to yeah. him mm. he gets a lot from from them and Correct. you know seeing them understanding them interacting mm. with them lot mm. of his life is influenced by them correct mm. likewise i'm sure shekhar sir if you see there'll be a lot of female influences in his life mm. okay. so it just boils down to who you are as a person i guess yeah no because i remember one funny interview where i think film fair had done like a special on women filmmakers and farah khan is there and she's surrounded by like nandita das and yeah. you know all of that and she's like i'm feeling so awkward yeah. here <laughs> because like you know mm. i don't uh, So I feel that about you also in a yeah, way that yeah. like but anyway I'm uh, sorry I, I'll come to the next question which I feel like most people who want to come into cinema face something uh, known as the imposter syndrome which is like you mentioned earlier that they feel that they don't deserve it right and that is true of all artists like even now I've been doing stand up for 10 years but if I get a nice gig where I'm getting a lot of money somewhere deep in my mind a voice says hey man you know maybe you don't deserve it sort find of find a beautiful girlfriend also i'm sure that will be going through ni amma dj chestada nilanga nena oh no no untadu untadu pessimistic ok small idu untadu so that imposter syndrome uh, how does one kind of especially pursuing something in the field of art how does one overcome the imposter syndrome i really have no answer to it because i'm still grappling with it oh really yeah i'm still like grappling after, with it like after five there is no time where you are going to feel self assured in terms of okay but at after a point you get comfortable bit okay it's okay who is okay with it or who's not exactly you have to you have to sometimes do something because you enjoy it correct but do mm-hmm. somebody when you are cooking also how do you do you're like okay that aunty next door has to like it that one also has to like it this one also you can't you can't put all that in your mind and mm-hmm. do it you know you have to go with what your gut is mm-hmm. and then you just god damn well hope everybody else likes your recipe that's mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. so after a point you get the maturity and the sensibility and it almost becomes like a like a second sense like you know like when you're driving also you know now quickly what to do and what not mm-hmm. to do so oka to chestadu oka kind of you're, you're little more settled and self assured mm-hmm. that that will come okay. it will come with time okay but that's a constant battle for a lot of people Okay. and uh, why do we need even even people who are married have relationships on my wife mm. didn't say that to me didn't ask <laughs> that. that is that is there that's mm. what we are as human that's, beings mm. so but over time we overcome that and mm. then we settle into it and then you get into your zone as a filmmaker mm. okay. because every friday you are stark naked in front of the whole world yeah. i said i did a boobo everybody is going to say i did a boobo you know Correct. so it's the most most public humiliation any job can face oh. now when you have dived into it mm. boss at least be kind to yourself yeah mm. so that that happens so yeah. you you got to back yourself at some point mm. so i feel i i felt jabardast did me a world of good in that way okay mm. because i decided i should never take any decision from fear prem aitadi anna decision ninchi nu 
డిసిషన్ తీసుకుంటే యూఆర్ స్క్రూడ్ ఐ ఫీల్ ఐ ఫీల్ దెన్ యూఆర్ డెఫినెట్లీ కండెమింగ్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ అట్ లీస్ట్ బీ ఫియర్ లెస్ అట్ లీస్ట్ డోంట్ టేక్ దట్ డిసిషన్ ఫ్రమ్ ఫియర్ సో దాట్ ఐ ఫెల్ట్ హెల్ప్ మీ అ లాట్ సో ఐ సెట్ ఇఫ్ ఐ ఫీల్ లైక్ టెలింగ్ అ స్టోరీ ఐ టెల్ ఇట్ ఇఫ్ ఐ ఫీల్ లైక్ వర్కింగ్ విత్ దట్ పర్టికులర్ ప్రొడ్యూసర్ ఐ వర్క్ అదర్వైజ్ ఐ వోంట్ అదర్వైజ్ వాట్ హెల్ప్ టు డూ ఐ టు సెట్ అట్ హోమ్ ఓకే ఐ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ మనీ ఓకే ఐ సెల్ మై ఫకింగ్ కార్ ఐ డోంట్ నీడ్ యూ డోంట్ నీడ్ అ కార్ ఐ ట్రావెల్ ఇన్ అ క్యాబ్ ఏమైతే అంతకంటే ఏమైతుంది లైఫ్లో నథింగ్ నో యూ విల్ మేక్ అ లిటిల్ బిట్ లెస్ మనీ దెల్ బీ సమ్ సమ్ మోర్ పీపుల్ యూ వాంట్ బీ సో లైక్ అబౌట్ యూ అండ్ పీపుల్ సో వాట్ ఇట్స్ ఇన్ మ్యాటర్ యూ నో యూ టుక్ ద గ్రైండ్ ఫర్ సిక్స్ ఇయర్స్ యూ నో హౌ టు మేక్ అ స్టోరీ యూ మేడ్ అ ఫిల్మ్ అండ్ యూ మేడ్ ఎవ్రీబడి లుక్ you can start from scratch you can mm-hmm. start a film with a new film new director new actor everything from scratch you know how to do it mm-hmm. you've done it once you can do it again yeah. so once you know that i think it somewhere it should dispel that fear from you to an extent at least malla ivanni cheppinaaka malla nen release time ki itla aipotha anko but you have to come to one kind of center of gravity where you feel i want to do this and i feel this is the correct thing to do not because you are calculating so many freaking things and planning your career and doing so at some point you have to just get rid of that at least as an artist that's what you need to do you can't you can't calculate so much it's like like neeraj pande when he's you know in the zone and about to go in and throw that shot at that moment he has to think only about that mm-hmm. he can't think what did the pakistan guy uska kitna hua iska kya hua ye sab it just messes mm. up with your head you need to just center Got yourself ante oka adi kuda lekapothe etla correct adi adu undali so adi danni center chese manushul mana chuttu undali environment create chestun mana responsibility because a lot what is art art is one person's opinion and idea on something ipudu evarku nachutadi entha mandi cheppi evadu cheppaledu there is nobody in the world who can say 100% these films will work and these films there's always an anomaly anomaly mm-hmm. that comes out there's always something that changes the game so this is this is how art is mm-hmm. and you've chosen to be an artist god damn it back yourself and go and do it so that has to be the at least ultimate approach so work towards it maybe you'll have good days and bad days it's okay to have bad days it's okay to doubt yourself on bad days let this think of how you want to release those fears that's it and uh, slightly veering off uh, cinema what are your interests apart from movies like i didn't see a single interview ask you like what are you like off the sets like what what are the things that I, drive you i love to travel mm-hmm. i love reading books i uh, i uh, i i i nak steel saman list steel saman <laughs> collection <laughs> no I, I, it's very bizarre yeah. but i don't know why since i was a kid they used to have this uh, steel saman guy they come and they used to take old t-shirts and all that and oh, no, no. Yeah. so i used to find it very fascinating this write your name mm. i don't know if you guys have this spell rasunde so naaku appadi nunchi naaku enduku steel saman ishtam ippudiki it's a running joke between my friends <laughs> one of the shopping malls had a steel saman shop mm. so we went and i stopped <laughs> and they're like oh my god like it's not jewelry it's not anything Mm-hmm. electronics and steel saman <laughs> it's a very bizarre poles apart thing but i like to watch but uh, i'd love to travel i when i was uh, younger i used to watch this show by jacques cousteau okay. where you know they, they go and save the whales and things like that then deep sea divers mm-hmm. so that was something i thought i could pursue at that point in my life so um, i've gone scuba diving it's something i would love to do mm-hmm. uh, but yeah i'm otherwise i big nature lover like love, love to travel in the hills mm-hmm. i love talking to people so when i travel out i have conversations so even if i go to movie theaters and all i'll be talking to the ushers mm-hmm. i'll say so where are you from what where is your family i like talking to people mm-hmm. i like understanding things i'm a big foodie so mm-hmm. i like to hear stories when people cook and they'll tell me i got this recipe from my grandmother and then they'll tell me a little bit about that person so i like to mm-hmm. understand those journeys stories stories uh-huh. so i am very fascinated by people so i am a very malgudi days type of person mm-hmm. so i like that that whole earthiness about people their stories you sit and tell me about your grandmother and grandfather i'll happily listen oh so i am one <laughs> nice. of uh, those people uh, and what what's the go to place put one go to place to travel to travel last inka nenu last two year la kunnur inni saallu poyna 
but uh, yeah but it uh, i love that place i love kunur but i love anything with the hills okay so you are a hills person i'm a hills person compared to a beach person movie kuda hills lo unde hills lo na unde kalyana bhai solo kuda koncham hills lo unda ekkada unde ada kalyana bhai mottham hyderabad lo unde hyderabad lo unde correct no that's jubilee hills yeah jubilee hills So you spoke about books what kind of books do you like to read if... my favorite favorite writer is dal roald dal yeah hey i love roald dal too hey, why didn't you like my pitakadal story re <laughs> it was my tribute to dal <laughs> oh it was switch bitch yes yeah, 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 oh, yeah i don't damn know. i didn't know that yeah, yeah. Now, um, now now you can't make jokes I about it <laughs> i don't read books manchi bani reads comics also oh i love comics oh, yeah. so oh. i'm a big naku when i was a kid my main thing looking forward to my birthday was my mom would get me two volumes of amar chitrakatha oh so i would love amar chitrakatha mandrake uh, phantom all those comics indrajal so, indrajal comics yeah oh my god i still have actually i'll show it to you sometime i still have those set of comics the original ones amar chitrakatha collection unda na unde all under stories you know so i thought in my life my ambition was the day i can buy the entire collection of amar chitrakatha phantom Tinkle, Tinkle. Uh, Asterix, and Tintin. That's it. I can retire. That's all <laughs> the money I wanted to make. So I told this to Samantha during Obebi, and she ordered the whole set. I said, if Obebi is a hit, you have to get me the whole set of Amar Chitrakatha. Hmm. She said, two. Entire order is done. Order is done. So I have the set which is gifted by her. Wow. No, and I'm a huge fan of Asterix and uh, Tintin as well. Yeah. And what I loved about Asterix was actually Tintin more than Asterix. So Asterix was full of jokes. Yeah, yeah. Right I mean just the number of jokes they would get in like with the names what blew my mind was I used to read the English version we all read the English yeah, version yeah, yeah. then I meet a French lady she tells me that Asterix is published in all these other languages You didn't know that I didn't know I mean it didn't even strike me that Uderzo and Goskini are What you thought they were what some American guys Goskini <laughs> and Uderzo yeah, I thought they were British <laughs> <laughs> And then she tells me dude in the French version yeah. the jokes are French yeah. like there are French puns and the yeah. Italian and Spanish that blew my mind what with tintin what i really love was that every book is an adventure to a different land mm. and you know just the illustrations were so beautiful because like i remember one where it's like a two part one where they go to the moon you remember yeah, discoverers yeah, of yeah, the moon explorers yeah, yeah, of the moon yeah, yeah, yeah. so the illustration was so beautiful because we used to read chacha chaudhary yeah, like yeah, bad yeah. illustrations yeah. like oh <laughs> even i used to love reading chacha chaudhary and they'll always be like this chacha chaudhary now right yeah. sabu chaudhary sabu <laughs> and that skinny rocket dog that dog <laughs> malnourished that's supposed to be tintin's dog yes. yeah no tintin had a nice snowy nice dog that we all spent from yeah but then in this tintin book what happens is like when you like i remember when they get off the rocket right you turn the page they are on yeah, the yeah. moon the yeah, whole yeah. page it's it like was, cinema right suddenly yeah. it's like this and you have close ups and that's yeah, what i like yeah. about comics i feel like as a filmmaker you should read comics because you understand close ups through comics so i feel that was the trigger because i read comics so much much later uh, you know i felt maybe the whatever filmmaker in me was the seeds were sown by comics oh, for me okay. even now when i watch rajamouli's films i think of him as this big amar chitrakatha happening mm-hmm. in front of me you know so that's that's yeah. what i feel works about his Correct. Film. like any of his films you can immediately put it back into a comic book yeah 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 it just the reaction, sits right the yeah reaction. yeah his reactions are like there is yeah. one uncle reaction uncle also yeah, yeah. is there in all rajamouli movies absolutely uncle pai would have loved him yeah uncle pai yeah. oh my god yeah. yeah it's such a nostalgia trip yeah. yeah then what are your other interests like if if you don't so yeah so uh, i do that i i said foodie then mm. i I'm, i swim a lot i'm a mm. swimmer and um, i used to play a lot of sports i used to play cricket and all so sports yeah traveling cover chesina me inge munte interest manchu lata i world cup world cup follow outnara ah uh, world cup follow outna follow outna i i i'm in little bit in and out of cricket so but recently konjam sri lankan match chesina ga nenu asal chaala feel ayi pera sri lankan ipo indra match ani cheppesi so i watch sport a lot uh, i was actually watching uh, beckham's documentary the other day and my god i didn't know what all that guy had gone through obviously i didn't follow football as much as i was watching the other sports so i always thought of beckham a certain way but when i saw man the trauma that guy has really? faced and survived i said fuck true hero man no i thought he was like a privileged city boy like no, no you've not seen that documentary oh watched. please watch it it is really? just going to completely change your mind about beckham oh it is completely going to change your mind about beckham it is unrelenting the amount of hate and trauma he has faced 
True. From when he was 19. I mean, like hatred, like like the whole country that, you know, hang hanging idols where they're hanging you and things like that. So much hatred, so much hatred. And he just goes. He does his thing and he survives it. He does his thing and he survives it. Incredible. I think that, and that too, it's British media, which is yeah. like oh, very toxic. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I think that's why he fucked off to America and he's happy there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even the whole thing, uh, when he was uh, playing in the European leagues, all the trauma that he went through there also, hmm. it's beautifully documented. You should just What's it called? It. It's called Beckham. Beckham. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Should Everything watch. about Beckham, like his perfume is called Beckham. <laughs> and hey, <laughs> see, it gave, it gave me such a beautiful insight that everybody's life from the outside is like are wan ke in the mm. kind of situation you don't know what that person has gone through to reach that point exactly. you absolutely don't have don't know so it it's i think a great insight for all youngsters who sit and see this glamour world of people and saying man this is so cool to actually understand on a day to day how much they have dealt with mm. and why they deserve what they what they've got mm. you know? it's a price they've had to pay for it and still never left that that path like he's 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 benched he's bench beckham is fucking benched mm-hmm. okay and yet he's going back he's showing up at practice yeah. with his mm-hmm. teammates mm-hmm. he's just showing up for practice even though he knows he's not going to play the next match he's just going and he say he knows the manager doesn't want him in there but he's just going mm-hmm. showing up every day for practice playing 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 they said him for practice separately he's still practicing then the teammates are feeling bad they're saying no can you let him practice with us that relentless nature of his made the coach change his mind and he said no i want no. him to play and i think ferguson also threw the shoe at him at some yeah, point he didn't throw a shoe he was angry and even kicked and that shoe flew at nicktus it is said oh it's a beautiful story it's a, somebody should make a film out of it someday yeah. it's a great story it's a great story of this coach who was his father figure and things that happened and everything that changes that that guy's life and he's such a great guy such a great yeah. guy yeah become as a gentle guy like he's a gentle soul I like it's a beautiful guy. story. Yeah. So I, I like see the thing is that's why I like to talk about people and talk to people. I you get so many insights into mm. things which Correct. which actually feed your mind. It's not mm. even like even if I wasn't a filmmaker, if I was just freaking sending sandwiches or hot dogs on a beach, I would love to do this because that's mm-hmm. just part of who I am. I, I'm curious about people. I like yeah. I people watch. Have you ever done that? If you park somewhere yeah, and yeah. wait for 45 minutes. I should watch people. Yeah. I also I I ah. trip on people a lot. Like they know the mall or something. Puru, oka father, oka family. Let's listen to. I just think like, are they ekkar ke lo chinro? What is their backstory? Puru mall ko chinro. Ah. Unmasto. Like, Unmasto. Like, 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 interesting like, body language. Yeah. Gana par thunte. What? No, yaar. No, no. Skunta maatlar thunte. Do gade do an thunte. Do gade do an thunte. Yeah. It's great fun. It's I love very, people watching. Yeah, That's yeah. another thing that I love. I like wherever I'm going. I like just look at people and I just like have. I'll make my own backstory about him. Are they? బాగా సతాయిస్తుంది అంటే ఏమో డాడీకి ఏమి ఏం కొని కొనియాలి ఇంటి కొని తర్వాత ఏం చేస్తాడు డాడీని మంచి అనిపిస్తుంది సో వీఆర్ మై నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ హూ వర్ ద ఫిల్మ్ మేకర్స్ దట్ యు ఎంజాయిడ్ వాచింగ్ యాజ్ అ యంగ్స్టర్ సో వెన్ ఐ వాజ్ అ యంగ్స్టర్ వెన్ వాజ్ అ కిడ్ ఐ డింట్ రియలీ నో డైరెక్టర్ ఇట్ యూస్ టు బీ జస్ట్ వాట్ ఎవర్ మూవీ కేమ్ అప్ యు నో అండ్ ఫ్రమ్ జానే బిదో యారు all that you know later on i went and i dig, dug up and started seeing who are these filmmakers i uh, actually appudu doordarshan lo 10:30 ki atla they used to have these movies which were so, uh, kurosawa's films and also i actually saw kurosawa on doordarshan can you wow. believe it appudu chinna pudu chinna pudu oh no kurosawa the doordarshan was playing man that's what i'm trying to tell you it was so freaking awesome yeah yeah i didn't know it's kurosawa hmm. so i remember seeing Sem Seven Samurai, that time when I was a kid. And I remember just being fascinated by the image. Until, you know, I was a weird kid. I used to watch Palu Chelu, Pandula Pempakam program also. <laughs> Anything that had a moving visual, yeah. I used to watch. So, late night was one of those rare things. If my grandfather is not at home, I used to switch on the TV and sit and watch. We're not allowed to touch the TV. So, I remember seeing Sem Seven Samurai yeah. and being fascinated by it. Just, you know, there would be the silence. And then one drum is going doom, doom, doom. Then one horse, horseman is going to do. Harira! Matta kara de ho! Malla ka silence on tada. Matta kara de ho! Matta kara de ho! Matta kara de ho! It was just a different way of filmmaking for me. But I don't know if I'm going to do cinema, I don't know if I'm going to do cinema, I don't know if I'm going to do cinema, I don't know if I'm going to do cinema. But it, it held you. I didn't understand anything of it. 
till mm-hmm. much later then i read the books kurosawa wrote then i started actually actively watching his films but growing up on those days this ketan mehta's films mirch masala all these used to come sham benegal's films used to come so all this so called art film used to also come while i was watching commercial films in the theater yeah. so there was this parallel kind of thing happening and i had no clue what is parallel cinema idi tv lo vache cinema adi theater lo unna cinema ante undunde manaku so yeah mirch masala all the, till today mirch masala is such a stunning film i watched it recently again yeah, it is a stunning freaking film and now i am sitting and seeing all that and seeing wala ippudu avanni chesesi inke em beekutunna manam ikkada em chestunna what are we trying to do actually uh, bansali gave a nice tribute to mirch masala did you notice in padmavat yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. throw the cool yeah, 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 yeah. as my mirch masala but it's so interesting that you grew i mean you loved all these like yeah, yeah, yeah. slightly artistic movies yeah, yeah slightly and full apudu, artistic movies those were and but apudu you, you were like you had any this thing arena in movies yes sane or just time pass entertainment kosam just time pass endukante nenu poi theater lo manchi masala cinema lu kuda chustunde i was a full freak like sit visual screen types even now <laughs> balrishna cinema on first day first show i go off <laughs> i sit and watch i enjoy i enjoy energy in theater Mm. so whatever it is i will have fun and come i i go to a movie wanting to like it mm. i am that person i have paid 250 bucks i am ready with popcorn oh. one maza now i want to have fun for 3 hours just oh. fucking give me just this much and i will freak out and go huh. that's it i don't want to sit and analyze it yeah, yeah. so lot of times i leave the filmmaker out i will just have fun and come malle emanna malla joodalante tara chusukunta gaani but i i i want to be the viewer because that's that's the child in me correct and that's who i try to keep alive i'm a kid at heart i'm an absolute kid at heart and very small things make me happy alpa santosh antar kada that is me ivada anni pakkan vaade ise rep cinema flop ayinda ga nu manchi food edana biryani desana are mast mast pada nen i think that is the reason i i i i am quite stress free relatively stress free i manage my stress because i have managed somehow to keep that child alive in me so that's how i view cinema and i think that's how i should see cinema also oh. because nen nen kadal cheppe tappudu kuda chaala mandi they ask me what is it one tip you will give to somebody who is telling a story i say i just tell them think you are telling a bunch of five year olds hmm. if you are sitting with top producers because i once had to narrate a story to allu arvind ashwini dat suresh babu kl narayana Uh, all together and raghavendra rao in one oh, sitting one, one sitting. sitting that's like the hall oh. of fame yeah 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 so raghavendra rao garu had uh, like that story and he said no this four are forming a company and uh, you, but you know that adi adu cheyaledu cheyaledu so adu nu poi kada cheppale ani so i i was little nervous obviously who's who kada inga inga ane anukuna sir ipudu vaal cheyana ante ipudu evadu muttukonu kada cinema adu kuda said no 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 they'll do it and uh, then uh, they went and sat and I, i was telling myself what do i do and then i said i have to just forget who they are i have to just forget who they are and remove that baggage from my head and i told myself i'll just see them as five year old kids so i imagined suresh sir in one little <laughs> shorts and one t-shirt sitting there so like so there was suresh <laughs> ashini <laughs> that was what i was telling myself in my head and i just went and i had fun and i narrated so narration went off well and they obviously we didn't do the film but they all that is the first impression of me so so that is interesting because um whenever i speak to filmmakers i find out that you know they are actually hustlers in their head they have three four stories and like street magicians they are placing them on the table and hoping you like you know sir so is that something that comes because i find like most aspiring filmmakers put all their eggs in one basket and they say this is the story i have written for 2 years is that advisable would you rather hedge your risks see unfortunately i've been one of those who's been writing one story but puri jagannath told me one great thing once he said uh, i said sir how do you write your story so fast because i am taking 6 months 8 months kise ja rahe hain wo script pe and you are doing film upon film upon film upon film he said nandini okkad gurtu pettko all these are scripts somebody has rejected so you keep writing if one is not moving you move on to the next write it don't think are isi ko bana don't get stuck on it uska time aayega when some time it will come you don't think it has to be your second film maybe it will be your fourth maybe use a part of it and make something else so he said you have to keep writing so 
my advice to filmmakers don't do what i do keep writing you have to write as many stories as you can if you are oh. done with something put it aside go write something else and then come back and take a look at this you'll have a different perspective also and it is it is filmmaking writing is like it it requires a lot of discipline you have to tell yourself every day i'm going to sit and write for 1 2 hours whatever time you can cater 1 hour 2 hour 20 minutes but stick to it it's a discipline writing is a discipline you have to push yourself it's not an easy job because you're sometimes just sitting and fucking nothing is moving in your head but commit yourself to that time don't time pass and pick your phone and try to do something else mm-hmm. sit with that blank paper for 20 minutes sit with it commit to that so that's what i would like to tell upcoming writers and filmmakers that give yourself that time and write as much as you can because the more you write the more refined it will become you know you initially everything that fucking comes out are vomit drafts it's mm. shit you are going to, of course you're going to come out with shit mm. you're not some like born genius like abhi aa jayega aisa nahi hota hai sabko you go through the grind if you read what you've written some five years back you'll spit on it mm. so you have to write then write and maybe your 10th or your 15th or your 20th mm. will they start taking shape so write is what i mm. it's like a cricketer you know how they go and play relentlessly on That's... the nets you play that goddamn ball five fucking thousand times till you know that you can play it even in beckham's you know those corners with where it's bending mm. his father would make him do it make him do it 5000 times and he would pay him when he, every time he hits the spot it it mm. pays off when you have done something so many times you will you will get it you will get it it will become second nature to you mm. after a point so put the work do the writing now uh, here is a follow up question to that now suppose i am writing every day and i have written one of the things i mean with all the you know crumbling imposter syndrome already involved in art one of the things that people generally come across is that oh my god this is very similar to something that already exists right so which brings in the issue of like say plagiarism for example how does one deal with that because see there are so many films in the world and you will never be able to watch mm-hmm. all of those movies mm-hmm. so then how does one kind of ensure that that doesn't happen you can't ensure it but i am seeing an increasing problem because we are watching films and we are writing films so it's basically regurgitating Little same thing recycle okay? yeah so earlier there used to be a generation which read a lot so your ideas used to come from a lot of places there was literature influenced you in many ways but now i am seeing that shrinking i am not seeing more film more and more filmmakers are, are i ask them do you read and they're like not so much we watch films so you have to be care- cautious where your material is coming from now mm. things that influence you things that it cannot be only cinema mm. it's weird it's bizarre because then you just ha- uh, you're limiting yourself to one short window of things you have to travel you have to see things you have to meet people you have to have experiences you have to read you have to see theater you have to see art you have to watch paintings how the hell are you going to form a new visual in your head if you don't use all these amazing influences which are around you so i would say open your mind up to as many things as possible just get get keep a day off where you just don't open your goddamn phone otherwise we are watching only insta reels nibba nibbi jokes and the same shit is happening obviously ah that is it might be correct sushin the sushin obviously it will come are idi akkadi nunchi lepindi idi condition and now this chat gpt ये सब लोग वही कर रहे हैं अभी तो सब लोग वही स्विमिंग पूल में कूदेंगे तो इट्स गोइंग टू या करेक्ट लॉट ऑफ यू आर व्हाट इज एवरीबॉडी इज डूइंग सुसु इन द सेम पूल सो दैट्स अ प्रॉब्लम करेक्ट सो um here is where we try to like make people's lives better youngsters if you are watching right so we have four specific questions that we think would help people uh, make their lives better um the first thing is i we feel that most successful people have nailed four parts of their life to some extent which is time management money management and uh, physical well being and mental health right so we will start off with money which waste no no em em jayaddu ani cheptha ha em cheyadu cheppandi em jayaddu ante firstly 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 sorry for hmm. interrupting how good is the money in being a director like is it a lot of money is it like is it comfortable is it see the thing is if you are working like me as he said i'm gloriously making one in three years nahi hota hai hai pata hai pata 
whatever you make in film 1 will be will will run through okay and you will go into marginal debt by time you come to film 2 wow see if you are making 15 crores and 20 crores and then you are taking 2 years you can still but it all boils down to how much you are spending what is your lifestyle the thing is as soon as you do one big film you want to buy a car natarata emi lo vastadi atharu next all chestam ippudu illu konukovali flat konu so it will boil down to all those things so a that old saying of chadar utna hi phailao jitna hai that is very important we we get carried away because we start spending on potential income that is this generations correct issue last two generations actually they because it's an it's an emi generation mm -hmm. you're not thinking of how much you have earlier generations you have 100 rupees okay everything done now 5 rupees ka we will do this mm. this to happen that is not there and we change everything from mobile phones to cars every 2 3 years it's it's a consumerist society now which so there's no end to that spending and we buy things because they make us feel good so after a point i used to buy some ridiculous number of headphones every time electronic chair kotta dem osthe konestunna i just stopped i said what the fuck am i doing because half the times they were just lying around i was not even using them i was using something else these four are just lying around i just said stop and that's when i started reading about minimalism and i started understanding that whole thing and i said there's so much shit in your life that you don't need so i sat and i started looking around things in my house and like there is so much stuff and you know i was writing a film in in which somebody died and there is stuff around that person i said fuck no but is <laughs> drop dead today how much stuff is there for people to get rid of mm. and then i realized there is so much so live your life like tomorrow if you drop dead yeah <laughs> people have to clear off stuff there is not a whole bunch of junk and people come and say what the fuck is this person doing so keep things that matter to you <laughs> For me, the most important things in my bedroom were my Amar Chitra Kata comics. <laughs> Nothing else mattered. Mm. Nothing else mattered. I need two pairs of jeans exactly which fit comfortably, two nice pairs of shoes, two, three t-shirts, shirts. That's it. You didn't need much more. So actually, I have to take care of my life. But I think it's a kick. I have to take care of my shoes. I have to take care of my phone. I have to take care of my phone. Then I remind myself, okay, this is... like i was buying my mother the new iphone and then i was getting tempted lena nai lena lena nai lena and i said what the fuck why what there na chinna phone undi battery ayipothu akra conversation in my head mummy phone undi ad disco paata di iphone 12 nik avasaram ledhi ippudu so it's not about whether you can afford it or not it's also about whether you need it so we have to basically strip a lot of crap and really understand what is it that's making you happy and what what is it that giving you that little kick in life if you sort that out financial management will come into play because financial management is not about making money financial management is about putting your money to the best possible use to give you happiness hmm. because after a point of time it's diminishing return kada how much hmm. money hmm. how much money is going to make correct. yeah so then you'll be happy if you're making if you have 10000 in your account also you will know how to be happy Correct. You'll know how to make a fucking key cash maggie at home. Mm. You know. So. And they put all these pen jeshin thora to. Is anta. How to. Ne ne anta karse bete ne anta gyanis to knowledge is. So what was like? Uh, give me uh, two examples. What do you think was the best purchase you made? What is the worst purchase you ever made in your life? Worst purchase? Chala pedal is. But see, like right after Allah madla hindi, they gave me some twenty lakhs. Okay. Hmm. And. Uh, they said because my remuneration for the film was 5 lakhs so i got this 20 as a as because a, the film did well yeah uh, as a bonus they sold the rights or something i had to clear off a 10 lakh debt which my mom had so that was done now that 10 lakhs big amount so i told vegar i said sir i want to buy a car he said car entandi mere flat ke edanna advance event i said flat in jason sir car not sir so i said i said because i like to drive i drive a lot so i love driving so i went and i bought a skoda lara now if you ask me if you said are that time if you had bought something for 10 lakhs in malapur or this it would have been mm. but for me i loved driving that car so for me it was a great investment correct ipudu 
ఇప్పుడు నేను ఏమంటున్నా అంటే ఇప్పుడు నేను అప్పుడు ఒక ట్వంటీ ల్యాక్స్ పెట్టేసి నేను మాదాపూర్ లో ఒక ల్యాండ్ కొంటా అది ఇప్పుడు అది మూడు కోట్లు అది నేను ఇంకొక ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ తర్వాత అంతా అది నేను ఫ్లైట్ క్రాష్ అయిపోయి నేను పుట్టుకు మంది ఏంటది సాల్ ఫకింగ్ టాయిలెట్ పేపర్ రైట్ సో ఫర్ మీ ఎనిథింగ్ దట్ ఈస్ గివింగ్ మీ ప్లెషర్ అండ్ మేకింగ్ మీ హ్యాపీ అట్ దట్ మూమెంట్ ఇస్ అ గ్రేట్ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ సో ఫర్ మీ ద స్కోడా లోరా వాజ్ అ గ్రేట్ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ ఆల్ ది ఎలక్ట్రానిక్ క్రాప్ దట్ ఐ బాట్ Uh, in my life is <laughs> waste because ye mundi okara vastara dumko dumkora vastara dumko dai kotta dachindi malla idi so it was just it, it was just some temporary high that you were getting and the other day i just realized i have some 20 pairs of shoes i'm like what the fuck why do <laughs> and i don't wear those 20 pairs i wear some two pairs because those are the most comfortable <laughs> these are the kind of All things all the electronics will be now in some fish mouth ante lei chesina nenu so what i did whatever was there i just started ruthlessly just taking and giving it off uh-huh. so at last 2 3 years i've been giving off stuff like if i have to buy a shirt i'll give off three shirts wow there is no question of idi koncham ante konni untai battle manam koncham sannaga ayinaka fit ayipotha bari మనీ <laughs> actually the greatest joy i got of and i am telling you i mean uh, not not uh, i felt giving money to people and uh, i remember uh, alamud lendi was getting uh, released i had gone to a medical store mukesh medical hall panjagutta and i was it's not like i had big amount of money i had a credit card which was some 25000 limit or something i had i went to buy some medicines there was an old couple there and they were buying some cancer medication the their bill came to some uh, 17 or 18000 they had only 5000 and they were trying to buy it and they didn't have i just told the cashier i said you charge the rest of the thing on to my car i had no idea how i'm going to pay it sweet but i just felt like i needed to do it now i don't think i did them a favor i did it because i felt good you know I, and and i felt the greatest joy when i did something for somebody that's why there's a there's a whole debate no whether when you're helping somebody mm. are you doing it for them or are you doing yeah, it for for, for yourself and there is a selfishness to yeah, challenge yeah there is a selfishness there mm. absolutely i agree with it but that was a great kick and a high high for me i'm not saying all of you go and start uh, giving off your stuff you jai, yeah. yeah but but think actually mana kavalsine chaal takku untai and we just accumulate stuff and stuff and stuff including things including thoughts mm. which i call stuff mm. we accumulate a lot more than we need to carry mm. so once you let go of that suddenly you feel very free mm. you, you it's not your baggage to carry your carryings unnecessary load on mm. you mm. so which will i have a phase anukunta ok sari koni dhoola therigina tirthadi dan tarata ah ya ante ipudu etla ante ipudu chaala mandi like now 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 nowadays when they say call me for a party i don't go so they say are kyare she doesn't drink she doesn't do anything nen re ivanni chesesnam ra ayipoyindra maaku at ednowning street anta vaada mundane gattiru oh bhayo 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 if you have liquid <laughs> <laughs> Ten, no, actually, I went to Ten Downing recently. So, I was like in this bad drink. Now, I've quit drinking. Actually, best thing I'm, I will advise everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get to that point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you have to drink shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that, exactly my point. But it's a nice... Uh, what's this? Uh, Long Island iced tea in... Uh, Long, best Long Island iced tea in Hyderabad is made by a particular dude in Tendi called Narsimha or Narsimha or something his name is. I forget. But yeah, what? That place is something magic. It's Hogwarts in Hyderabad. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, you enter, you feel you're in a different yeah. world. Yeah, but uh, then here's my second thing. So, are you a spiritual person? Like, is there... Yeah, I'm more, reli- no, more uh, spiritual than religious. Hmm. Like, uh, I will not... I will go to a temple because I feel a certain energy or any religious place. Like, you know, Golden Temple, I think. There's a certain connection that I feel. I feel like... i believe the whole universe is connected with energy and i believe you can sense it so that's why when you're with certain people you feel drained out and with certain people you feel totally, energized totally. and all that yes. so more than religious i'm spiritual uh, and is there any person um 
you follow like for me i find a lot of solace in what osho says for example hmm. osho uh, is somebody i you yeah, yeah i've okay. read a lot of osho and okay so uh, yeah no particular person i'll read a lot of sufi things and uh, anything that comes my way that's what i actually like more on instagram than anything some of these suddenly one thing will come which will suddenly resonate with you which i keep mm-hmm. posting mm-hmm. so it's not a particular person but osho is somebody that uh, i definitely connected with uh, a lot um jiddu krishnamurthi again jiddu oh jiddu yeah. legend mm. so jiddu krishnamurthi is is uh, in in a sense uh, aasti given to me by my dad Oh. so uh, i was freaked out i saw a f- photograph of my dad with jitu krishnamurthi wow yeah, yeah, yeah. seriously yeah. nice okay, okay. so that was something special and um, all my jitu books were from my dad nice yeah. oh nice. do you know there is another ug he is like ug krishnamurthi ani uh-huh. he was like jitu's contemporary ha huh. he was the guy who was mahesh bhats oh right 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 yes i read about you read about but yeah, yeah. he's like you know like uh, you know how there is spider man and then there is a dark version yeah, of yeah, spider man yeah, yeah, yeah. there is like jiddu and there is ug like that but anyway uh, here is my next uh, bit of questions and i'll not take much of your time um, how important is physical well being and generally being you know uh, there for a filmmaker it's very important because um, if you're not physically uh, in shape it, 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 shooting is very taxing on you physically and uh, emotionally and huge amount of stress you handle so your body is not going to be able to withstand it and you're mm. not going to be able to function so you have to pr- pretty much be like an athlete you can't be sloppy and not getting enough sleep and drinking and smoking and i mean there are people who can function i can't i need 8 hours of sleep i need to eat clean i need to be alert so for that very very important and stress management huge for filmmakers because whether you like it or not there is stress going to get dumped on you mm-hmm. every day you have to make decisions and every day you have to make tough decisions mm-hmm. everybody is going to come and bounce off problems with you like mm-hmm. uh, uh, after a point of time i have to tell my ep this is not my shit you handle it mm-hmm. it's a crisis but it's not mine you go handle it don't don't give me that information so you have to protect your mind from a lot of stuff because you are taking critical calls and a lot of times sometimes because that pressure that whole aesthetic can can just get disturbed and you will lo- you will lose yeah, yeah. yourself where you are and it's not easy every single day to be 15 days 20 days it's it's like it's like batting for 15 days i don't know how else to and the two like at a stretch of like yeah, some it's like you're on, a, you're on a pitch which you don't know which way the ball is going to swing is it going to turn but you have to fucking be on the ball like you know so every time literally when i go in for a shot i tell myself okay cut everything out because i'm a person who's very easily distracted so i'll tell myself okay now face the ball just stay absolutely like that and then watch it because those are the things that if you miss then you will screw up so you your physical mental emotional well being is absolutely at the top so you need to keep yourself in pristine condition okay and uh, like a follow up question so mental health is something that is being spoken about a lot and i feel like you know there is a lot of baggage around mental health there is a lot of stigma there is a mm-hmm. lot of assumptions myths and all of that mm-hmm. how do you ensure that uh, you are in prime mental mm-hmm. also to add to that point like i have also come across that you are a very good uh, mental support to many people in the industry like i've gone to few posts long back of samantha long back of munane ni birthday wish chesina pudu eppudu that she uh, recollected some eppudu 2012 lo you were the person who uh, held her and like got made her, like passed through mm-hmm. a big uh, very bad phase of hers ani so you would have inka better uh, i am i'm i'm uh, touch wood whatever because of my life experiences or whatever i'm a fairly grounded person in the sense i i handle stress well uh, and i i have been that for that person for more most of my friends like a rock ante endukante i handle stress well how do i handle stress well is ante inga nenu ee అది ఇంకా కొన్నేమో నాచురల్ డిస్పోజిషన్ ఉంది షిట్ హిట్స్ ది రూఫ్ ఐ గో టు యు ఆల్రెడీ సో ని స్టార్టింగ్ లోనే యు సో ది మోస్ట్ బ్యాలెన్స్డ్ ఫేస్ అనుకుంటున్నా అంతే అనుకుంటున్నా లైఫ్ లో when i was 18 నుంచి 21 ఫేజ్ లో 6 ఆ 3 ఇయర్స్ ఫేజ్ లో 6 ఇమిడియట్ ఫ్యామిలీ మెంబర్స్ అనిపిం లైక్ మై డాడ్ బోత్ సెట్స్ ఆఫ్ మై గ్రాండ్ పేరెంట్స్ మై మామయ్య సో 
when you are exposed to death and things like that so quickly in life you 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 deal with things uh, my parents were divorced when i was probably i don't know 6 or something so i grew up with separated parents so uh, very early i i knew i had to parent my mom so you grow up you grow up and you assume these these roles there's a there's a cost for that also but as a result i became a person who can handle a crisis so even now in my set when there's a problem my mind will not say are ipudu problem aipindu it will not go there it will go immediately to solution it's automatic so that has helped me as a director that i am very cool under pressure and immediately when there's a crisis i'll immediately think of okay no that's not let's do it like this i will i will always think of a solution that is one natural disposition that is there but it helps me to take a beat before taking a decision i'll i'll mm. try not to rush into things and just this one second just take that one one second and then decide but a lot of this you can't teach somebody or tell somebody that you should do that there are a lot of things that you should be but a lot of it comes from how you are as a person so yeah okay. so uh, you know when you were talking about uh, religion and god i i remember on my mother's dressing table there was a sticker of uh, sai baba oh. and uh, you know my understanding was probably what four or something looking and he looked like a nice old tata so i had no idea of god of course my grandmother would light a lamp and you do it and i used to go for the prasadam mm. so my connection to god was a food again so there as the juicy i used to and it was written there you look to me i look to you i look to you uh-huh. okay that is my first identification of uh, sai baba and i used to just like the way his smile was sit and i used to feel he's looking at me only so i i always uh, like liked it and uh, so sai baba was i always felt like he's like a friend not so much god god బట్ మళ్ళీ షిరిడీకి వెళ్ళే ఛాన్స్ మచ్ లేటర్ వచ్చినప్పుడు ఒకసారి పోతే చాలా సంవత్సరాల తర్వాత ఇట్ వర్ దిస్ టౌట్స్ అండ్ దేవర్ ఆస్కింగ్ ఫర్ మనీ అండ్ ఆల్ సో ఎక్కడో ఒక చిన్న డిసెంచాయింట్మెంట్ స్టార్ట్ అయింది నాకు ఎందుకు ఇట్లా అంతా ఇట్ల ఇట్లా ఉంది అని చెప్పేసి అండ్ మై మైండ్ ఐ జస్ట్ సెడ్ బాబా ఆర్ యూ రియలీ దేర్ ఆర్ ఆర్ యూ లాస్ట్ ఇన్ ఆల్ దిస్ ఐ యూ స్టిల్ హియర్ గివ్ మీ అ సైన్ బికాస్ అదర్వైజ్ ఐ కాంట్ కమ్ బ్యాక్ అండ్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ సెయింగ్ ఇట్ లవ్ టు ఎనీబడి ఐమ్ జస్ట్ థింకింగ్ ఇన్ మై హెడ్ అండ్ జస్ట్ దెన్ you stand in this line and you turn right and then you go see sai baba so i was standing in the line one old lady bent old lady came and she didn't even have a blouse she was just covered with a sari and uh, one guy shunted her hey ikkane jo aadna tirte unko guy nochindu ochi amane che no itra ani cheppesi teesukoni ellipoyindi ellipoyindi emo mare musal ekkada poyinda ani cheppi nenu unna went ahead and i turned right i saw her sitting at baba's feet this old lady without anything and all these ministers families and all are standing some 15 feet behind this lady was sitting at baba's feet and this happened right after i said give me a sign now call it coincidence call it whatever call it whatever i got an answer that day oh so i and and i was you know i always felt the universe has given me my answers when i wanted it and i listen i have got my answers from the universe mm-hmm. you know um like uh, what was the other thing we were talking about yeah like money. when i money, money. Uh. so not chal saalu you know when i felt like i didn't have enough money and i needed something from somewhere it's come man mm. like one suddenly i needed some one and a half like some old income tax refund suddenly appeared i was like what the hell where did this come from so nahi pehle ka tha so things like that have happened or a friend will say are keep this money my sister is coming after 3 months you give it itter ko abhi chahiye to tu le le so ante naaku 10 rupees avasaram ante 10 e vastadi 50 rad mala 10 e vastadi endukante and then i understood it that 50 you are not giving me for a reason because i'll lose myself hmm. you are giving me exactly what i need hmm. so i am somewhere very comfortable right now so with all my money mismanagement and not buying so many properties and having so many backup plans and all that you know i was telling my brother like my brother is does much better than me he runs he runs the he runs entire royal simruchlu he, he owns all of them and he's oh. he's very like you know very well invested and mm. things like that proper business proper businessman ante etlu untundi ante mem chinna appudu monopoly aadukuntunde kada my brother would, we used to play for four five days and all monopoly <laughs> so my brother would be the person who will save his, save his money he'll hide so the minute you think you've screwed this guy over he'll pull out some more money <laughs> so i'm like what the fuck 
<laughs> so he was that guy and my mother used to run this ice cream parlor in second bad called nandita ice cream parlor it was one of the first ice cream parlors in the city so my mother used to work in the ice cream parlor she started working because she didn't want to ask my grandfather for money because my parents were separated by then correct she didn't want to ask my grandfather so we would sit in the ice cream parlor and work during our summer vacations or when we have to study and all that i would sit and do my studies in that place so that's how we grew up so um uh, when i lost the thread of what i was trying to say your brother was better yeah my, my brother. brother my brother so my brother used to he used to flick money from my mother's purse because my mother used to get cash every day from the parlor no? so he used to flick money from my mother's purse like 100 200 he would flick but he will not spend it he used to save the money and he used to lend it back to her तो अरे ये जूस ही ओपन अ शेल कंपनी विद इन द होम सो वाला सर वो सेव जैसे सी मम्मी का सडन का 10000 नहीं ना फ्रेंड दगर दिस को सांझे पे दे दे ना चाला रोज तरह दे दे मम्मी पैसे ले सो नाउ माय माय ब्रदर हैज मोर इन्वेस्टमेंट्स एंड एवरीथिंग बट आई जस्ट टोल्ड हिम आई सेड यू नो you have more money than me and my brother was going through some emotional crisis at that time and i just told him i said look just look at both our lives you have much more money than me you are much more financially planned and all that uh, my brother is very slim and well built and very health conscious and all that i have been more or less overweight my whole life i said by now i should have had bp sugar thyroid something i said i don't have anything hmm. i said you have blood pressure i don't <laughs> i said isn't it telling you something <laughs> i said isn't it telling you something i said we both lived an equally good quality of life although i have made lesser mm. money than you mm. we have an equally good quality of life and i am in better physical shape than you yeah. and that is only because i am not taking all that stress correct yeah, i am mm. not putting all this because now you you've made money now you have the money now you to invest the money is the money making more money is it making enough money no his money is making more money than my money what the fuck when does it stop yeah. when does this shit mm. stop mm. so you have to decide what is enough how much is enough how much is giving me security mm. so that's my take on, on money, money i don't have a whole lot of money i just managed to buy a house after all these years congrats yeah congrats. is it full of earphones and stainless steel <laughs> no, i think i hey uncle i'm stainless double m with <laughs> stainless steel are stainless steel saman is soul by south indians ki soul hai enni gonta steel saman le ante place untadi steel saman kach petach no problem run run dabbal anduke nenu adi monna sharmanan cinema lo amma dabba adutha scene urvashi garu enta asal resident ayipena nenu that yes dabba go dabba has to come back boss kuch bhi ho jaye అది కూడా పర్టిక్యులర్ అంటారు అదే మీకు టిఫిన్ బాక్స్ ఇచ్చినా అది ఆ టిఫిన్ బాక్స్ అరే మాకు ఊకే గిన్నెల పంచ అయితే మా ఇంటి దగ్గర మా అమ్మ డిప్ డబ్బాలు వెళ్తే నా డబ్బాలు అన్ని నీ దగ్గర ఉన్నాయి మూతలు ఇక్కడ ఉన్నాయి ఇదే ఇదే డిస్కషన్ సో ఎనీవే డబ్బా సర్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ సౌత్ ఇండియన్ సెంటిమెంట్ దట్ ఇస్ బట్ యా ఫర్ మీ ఐ ఫీల్ ది యూనివర్స్ టేక్స్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ మీ ఐ డోంట్ హావ్ అ హోల్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ మనీ ఐ హావ్ ఎనఫ్ అండ్ ఐ ఐ అండ్ ఐమ్ గుడ్ విత్ ఇట్ ఐమ్ నాట్ థింకింగ్ okay now once i stop films do i have enough money to fund that lifestyle this life are appu chusukundam appu chusukundam europe boya paisa lekapothe manam varagal boyadam ante ekkada gana podam manam 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 enta varaku enjoy chestam chestam varangal boya paisa kuda lev ankonni garden lo usan picnic chestu ante ga ante ante so i am i'm okay i'm i'm a you are yeah, content i'm a Manchia. content person mm. i'm a content person sometimes maybe that that also is coming in way of my ambition of a filmmaker mm. people are always ask me this question you seem very content doing the kind of films that where you are don't, don't you have bigger ambitions mm. i said i don't know <laughs> i really don't know i mean i do want to make a superhero film and all don't you want to make films with mahesh babu and i said yeah but now that looks like a five year wait period yeah. so i don't <laughs> want to think that far ahead in my yeah, life right. so i just want to do the next thing if it's meant to happen it will happen things will happen in a way and i'll write that kick ass script and i will go and narrate and something will happen and the dates will shift and it will happen if it's not meant to happen i'm okay with what what i'm making so so tell me a little bit about your friendship because all the friends you have in the industry ha huh. speak about you like a messiah like mm. somebody who you know is extremely sorted mm. and you know takes care of them when they are in a crisis like your friendships with samantha are th- like it's thick right um, and i love how like your girl gang generally stands up for each other and it's so beautiful 
so what is your equation with them like like sam and uh, chinmay chinmay, chinmay. <coughs> so chinmay and rahul are very very close friends of sam i met chinu basically uh, she sang a song for me for kalyana vaibhogame the first time we met but didn't talk much at that time ekwa interact ayindi with chinu was uh, during uh, ovv oh, dubbing yeah. so chinmay is one, one very sweet person okay oh. like chinmay and rahul are like the sweetest people like for anything they would keep saying sorry sorry re very sorry very sorry so i told them when you'll have kids please name them sorry and very sorry <laughs> stop saying this to me so i still call their twins sorry and very sorry so they are like the sweetest people so chinnu and me when we were dubbing for baby's character baby is quite a bitch so now i had to push chin my to be bitchy and she would just not get bitchy to that point so that's the time when we maximum interacted she is a person with a big heart and very strong opinions on a lot of things and uh, i really love her passion her commitment i love her spirit of just standing against whatever shit yeah. she's just there Rock. and and yeah. rahul also is like i i i get freaked out when i see how nice that guy is i said got too nice <laughs> gives me a complex rahul uh, and uh, sam sam and me ipudu 10 years so ipudu ipudu nenu cheptha atla weird ga untadu mem idram interesting okate saru ochu okay endukante appudu start ayindi yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i keep telling sam that she both of us came at the same time yeah. so yeah it was a journey in that sense because she just entered and we actually both got our nandi awards at the same time ha huh. oh. uh, Yeah, that year she got best actress and i got uh, best director that that same oh, year i mai chesave ha i mai i mai chesave that year so uh, sam thoti journey start ayindi was once i signed her up for uh, jabardast be- what became jabardast mm-hmm. and uh, she was going through one rough patch at that time for while shooting for a certain film and she had some thyroid issues and she was not putting on weight and she was facing issues so i don't know somewhere she felt comfortable maybe because i was a woman to call up and confide that this is happening she didn't know whom to talk to so i was the one person that was there and i think somewhere that started a friendship and uh, then okay yeah over time my crisis her crisis we tended to talk and bond but uh, yeah it's 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 a uh, it's a really wonderful bond that we share and there's no expectation there's no expectation that because we are friends that's the first thing i told her. i said you should work with people because you feel that's the right step to work not because they're friends i said you can support each other in any which way as a friend i said if you feel i'm not right for the script you should say no and if i feel you're not right for the part i will say no that's that's mm. you we keep our friendship and our professional. professional spaces apart like if i still need to pitch a script to sam i will talk to her manager i will not say yeah. dude you know i don't we don't Mix. criss cross those spaces mm. there is a healthy uh, space we keep and there's a healthy bond we have because of that we don't cross certain lines with each other and i think that is kind of uh, the secret for adult friendships right yeah. certain respect yeah. and space yeah. because you're not like buddies yeah. anymore and we we just there we we've got each other's backs and when we both got into making baby also we had the same vision for the film and we just said uh, i i told her i said any time you feel something is not right because i believe she has a great gut instinct and it's not right you just need to tap me on the shoulder and say this is not going okay so we have to have each other's back here so there was a lot of trust and uh, there's a lot of uh, kind of faith that we got each other so that's what kept us true and and there's no expectation that this person has to do this for me i, I believe we just take it so it's comfortable nice it's nice obe bhi pandemic tarvata ochinda mundu ochinda just itla yesi ni itla america goi holiday chesukoni ochestunte it was on my tail i literally landed me one day before the lockdown yeah yeah it happened just before yeah. the lockdown march 27th or something like that itla land aina lockdown oh no correct so that's it and uh, I, we don't have any more questions honestly it went to happy I mean, person it's the first time i don't have any questions <laughs> i emptied yeah. you guys out <laughs> yeah totally yeah uh, but uh, no it was such a great i mean 
I didn't have anything in mind before asking. The one thing I wanted was to not make it a gendered conversation. Yeah. And I hope we managed to do no, that. No, and I'm sorry if we didn't manage no. to do that. No. I think uh, we had a, a really good time and I spoke about so many things so many after things. so long. So yeah. it was nice. No, I'm so glad that you spoke about all these things like Roald Dahl yeah. and yeah. Uh, yeah. Asterix Comics. and Tintin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gerald Darrell is another mm. writer. Yeah. R.K. Narayan, of course. Yeah. So you, can I, know, you know what is my favorite uh, page? Mm. It's, see and smile. This <laughs> 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 never reads. It is so cute, no? Like, yeah. are they put all else? Just like see and smile. <laughs> 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 it's not read and smile. It's see and smile. So beautiful. Yeah. My brother doesn't like to read, so get your point. <laughs> <laughs> also, do you know, like, there is one uh, Wes Anderson movie that he has made based on a Roald Dahl story. I saw it. You watched, I watched it. it. It's How awesome. It? Kick nice. as it is. Kick yeah. as it is. Okay, okay. You'll have so much fun watching it. Okay. I felt like a kid watching it. You, I'm surprised you didn't catch it still. I didn't know. Now I'm so selective about what, what to watch because it's become mm. my job. So must have, must have. Watch it. Okay, okay. So generally what I do is I wait till like IMDb ratings come out and then I kind of watch it. But this I want to watch. It has some of my favorite people. Yeah, this you have but, to watch. But yeah, I'll watch it. It's, but yeah, sorry, go ahead. It's, it's kind of like a play unfolding and the whole way it is done is so amazing. You have to watch it. Yeah, Wes Anderson. I'm sure he has done something magical with that. Yeah, actually, with your last movie, you know, I felt like, you know, you tapped into a little bit of, like, you know, Judd Apatow and West... Like, it was very... It was not a very Telugu film act at yeah, all. Yeah. Uh, see, what we got right with that was the world. Yeah. Mm. The world and the characters we got right. Mm. Where I failed as a writer and created the problem in the film is... The conflict didn't come to the center. Like, okay, now, they have this problem. Now, what, ha what if this court case goes on for another 7,000 years? What happens? Nothing happens doesn't change anybody's life. It should have created some kind of an issue where either Rao Ramesh is trying to bump his own nephew off or this love story is not going to happen, whatever. And also, it was conceived in a pre-pandemic world where things were a little different. True. So, four years you're with one story, you're, the ground has changed. World has changed. Yeah, yeah, completely has changed. So now people don't want where, okay, this is nice and these people are nice, but now what? Mm. Now, urgency what is gonna happen? Yeah, urgency ka wale, you know? Mm. Tell me something that I'm not seeing or not understanding. It's not enough if they're all nice people and they're all not feeling nice or whatever. Mm. But when people watched it on OTT in a more chilled out space where you just wanted to watch a movie and mm. you are eating one nice annam papu omelette and you're sitting, you know, they, they, they reacted differently to the film. Mm. But yeah, definitely uh, there were writing flaws in the film which I own up to. Mm. But I felt in spite of that, there's a lot of magic in the film. It feels very comforting. Yeah, it does. And that, that was the way the film... I, I didn't calculate while writing the film. It was meant to be like that. It was meant to be that world where you want to get lost. Yeah. But there should have been a little bit more in that. And that that I felt my my failure as a writer because I didn't... I, I, I got so lost in the world and the characters that somewhere that perspective got... Missed in that. We we lead there as uh, individual characters, Santosh and uh, Malvika. Those individual I like because I related with this guys because he's like, Arey, ne, ne, yeah. 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 Adi, He's man, a nice guy. Man. What? Uno, what? 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 easy go into what life law? He's yeah. almost like an aspirational kind of a character, you know. Yeah. So he's a, he's a beautiful character. And I felt happy, like you were saying, felt happy for uh, Santosh Shubhra also. Yeah. Because there was a right film for him. It was nice. Time. And while we were shooting also, we were all feeling like, I remember Rao Ramesh Garu calling me after he dubbed. He said, he said, thank you for the space in the film, he said. He said, thank you for spaces between dialogues. That was the first thing he said to me. And I was not, not in the country. He called me up and he said, I felt like I'm breathing in the film. I felt like the film is breathing. It was, everything is so basic and cut to cut to cut to cut to cut. Then it was nice, the pace. So, see, like I said, it depends on the headspace in which you are going to watch the film. Everything right now, the attention span is this much. Your Insta reels, this, this, this. So your gratification is happening in two minutes, three minutes. Now, I am now putting in your world where I want you to drift. Like you are in the swimming pool and you are floating. Chill. prepare And at the end of that chill, you will want a certain trip, which could have been there, but yeah, lessons learned. And, but I feel it's a film that will age. Nicely. Well. It will age well. It will age well and there will be moments where people will want to go. Because I got, after OTT, like I got pages and pages of messages from people about how they were feeling and what it made them feel and things like that. So I feel 
different things for different people depending on what you want but the majority right now wants something that is going to startle them correct that is clear which is why you know when people are yeah so saptasagar dachel was such a disruptor for me and it's a disruptor that needs to be bloody celebrated yeah. you like the movie i loved it yeah, you know I, i went and did an interview of hemant and rahul and me interviewed oh, yeah, the, yeah, interviewed them you know because yeah. we were so, i was so taken in by the film i came out and i i just wanted to talk to them yeah by the way yesterday yesterday side b trailer ochind anko was a kick ass one i yeah. i texted hemant hmm i texted him and I, i i said it's just doing something to my heart again and now 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 i'm scared to go watch the film man yeah. i'm scared that what am i what is that because i was hungover for one week over that film yeah i was so hungover so yeah. i feel through this spacey stuff through this madness through this bigness we need those saptasagaras to come we need those little disruptors that just put the break on us and say stop through all those headphones that you're buying fucking just stop <laughs> you know that whole rush that you're getting just just stop so two young filmmakers be the disruptors because if you don't we are all just going to be in one tunnel correct and we'll we'll rush through that tunnel and then we'll die and then in another tunnel and then we'll die so be the disruptor don't be afraid of being a disruptor mm. is what i would like to say takes courage to be a disruptor takes fortitude to hold on to what you believe which is why more power to people like tarun baskar who are you know fighting that okay what do we do different what do we do different and things yeah, yeah. like that you know correct so try to create that one niche so that somebody says you know oh this is an aditya film this is a superna film mm. how do you create mm. that identity for yourself if you are only watching someone and trying to mm. emulate how do you mm. create that identity yeah. so go ahead and do it cool that brings us to the end thank you so much we are sorry if it took away too much of your time mm, bye and, and i It's hope it was fun for you it was absolute fun and nice. uh, thank you for coming here thank you for being you actually i mean like you know we meet a lot of directors and like there's nobody like you here <laughs> honestly and like i'm not saying this just because, because you came you. here but generally there's nobody who can take a joke who can take criticism i'll be watching your other interviews huh? if you repeat this line <laughs> 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 no 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 i mean this i mean this which is why Thank i'm so keen to call you on and i'm so yeah. glad you agreed to come on and uh, like i can tell for a fact that you are the only filmmaker who complimented me on a joke on their own movie <laughs> <laughs> so, which means that you probably don't take life so seriously